City ay tunang kapitan ng Pilipinas. Uh, ako po si Dr. June Silera, isa po akong trauma and orthopedic surgeon. Isa din po akong sports enthusiast. So sa akin, dahil itinayo yung MPBL at dinala nila sa mga places like... Ako po si Jebanel S. Basan, isang nanagat ng Jensen City. Ang Jensen City ay tunang kapitan ng Pilipinas. Pinagmamalaki namin ang masaganang huli ng isda sa dagat, lalo na ang tuna. Nga maoy mong ipangitaan sa tanan na mong ipanginabuhay at ilis dagat. Nagpapasalamat po ako sa araw-araw naming huling isda. Para sa apuha ang ginikanan, matag-adlaw ng mga kakaon may magli may maglisod-lisod ba. Pagkatapos ng trabaho sa Fishport, wala akong kakaboy basta makalandaw lang kong MPBL sa TV. Pinasuportahan ako ang Jensen City sa pagtuo na ako ang MPBL ay liga ng bawat Pilipino. Ikaw sa liga ni mo! Ako si Daniel Kaliwag, isang may-ari ng water refilling station sa Mandaluyo. Minsan nakakapagod ang buong araw sa negosyo. Pero nakakawala ng pagod ang manood ng MPBL. Oh! Iniwala ako ang MPBL, ang liga ng bawat Pilipino. Ikaw, ano ang liga ko? Ako po si Glenna Bendan. Isang barista ng hotel dito sa Sambuanga. Hindi madali pero may halong saya ang pagtatrabaho, lalo na ang makapagsilbi ng maayos. Araw-araw lumalaban para sa pamilya. Nawawala ang pagod ko kapag napapanood ko ang Sambuanga Family Brand Sardin sa MPBL. Number one akong sumusuporta sa MPBL. Naniniwala ako na ang MPBL ang liga ng bawat Pilipino. Yo, si Clemsi Aventa, Vigentes di Sambuanga. Ito, Rosa di Tindiga. Ako nga pala si Victor Gokoy Jr. ng Carlos P. Garcia High School, Manila, isang guro. Bilang isang guro, ang pinaka-return of investment namin pag nakita namin yung mga, bat, mga estudyante namin na successful na sa mga aspirants ng basketball, gusto kong maging professional basketball someday. Pagpatuloy mo lang yan kasi even yung mga magagaling natin na atleta, bumabagsak sila pero pili silang bumabangon at pili silang tinutupad yung pangalaman. Ipapasalamat ako sa ng mga senator Manny kasi nagbigyan niya ng pagkakataon yung mga atleta natin, mga particularly yung mga basketball player. Pag sinabing city mo, talagang susuportahan mo eh kasi doon ka lumaki, doon ka tumira, talagang susuportahan mo ang kuha. Hindi ka tulad nung sa ibang mga liga na hindi mo mapifeel na sa'yo yun eh. Ito sa MPBL, ramdam mo na part ka nila, na lumalaban sila hindi dahil para sa kanila, lumalaban sila para sa'yo.
Uh, ako po si Dr. June Silera, isa po akong trauma and orthopedic surgeon. Isa din po akong sports enthusiast. So sa akin, dahil itinayo yung MPBL at dinala nila sa mga places like ginigising natin ulit itong mga kabataan na maging physically active at lumayo dun sa mga ibang bisyo. So we are thankful to me as an orthopedic surgeon na gumagamot sa mga injuries to maintain the physical uh, uh, performance of these athletes. And PBL is a big thing actually in Cavite because we have, I think, two teams competing in uh, the South. At uh, lalong lalo na, si Commissioner uh, Kenneth Duremdes is a good friend. And, uh, we are fully supportive of NPBL and it's uh, uh, as an organization. At nagpapasalamat kami unang-una kay Senator Manny, Manny Pacquiao, for bringing us grassroots uh, basketball and for uh, putting this up. Ito ang liga namin, MPBL. in the already loaded yeah,
Ako po si Jebanil S. Basan, isang mananagat ng Jensan City. Ang Jensan City ay tunang kapital ng Pilipinas. Kinagmamalaki namin ang masaganang huli ng isda sa dagat, lalo na ang tuna. Nga maoy mong ipangitaan sa tanan, na mong ipanginabuhi dari sa dagat. Nagpapasalamat po ako sa araw-araw naming huling isda. Para sa ako ang ginikanan, matag-adlaw ng sa loob ng San Andres Sports Complex dito sa Malate sa lungsod ng Maynila and we are down to our third game tonight Day 16 ng inyong MPBL Lacan Season, Eloy Poligrates on your screens Isa sa pinakabagong mukha naman sa kabilang kumpunan for the Manila Stars, Jeric Fortuna the veterans at the point guard position will represent their teams here in our third game today, our game story Hungry for more, the Manila Stars, the home team tonight, going up against the visiting Cebu Sharks. Maraming salamat po at magandang gabi sa inyong lahat mga kapamilya. You guys are live or you guys are watching us live on SNA, SNA HD, Liga Liga HD, sports.abs.cbn.com and on the I1 tap. Ako po si Martin Aviar, kasama pa rin si Coach Pudit de Vera dito sa ating naro. At syempre, our coach side reporter, nandyan din si Sheila Salaysay. Coach Pudit. Simulan na natin to. Maganda. Pareho ko po galing sa pagkakapanalo. So, syempre, kutungtong makakuha pa ng mga panalo pa sa ating lakan season. Well, we're in the home court of the Manila Stars. So, nasa kanila yung, uh, yung uh, odds to win the game. But the Cebu Sharks, no? They're defiant to the core. Tingnan natin kung paano nila uh, lalabanan itong Manila Stars. And speaking of Cebu, they won over Marikina on the road as well. Nangyari dyan sa Mari School Gym. It was... Well, not the prettiest of games, uh, Coach Putit, pero nagawa ng paraan ng Cebu yan, nakuha nila yung unang panalo nila. Yeah, a game both teams would uh, want to forget, like because of the slippery floor and everything, but yeah, Cebu just did just enough to get that win uh, over Marikina. Yeah, they were led by Patrick Cabajo, who scored 14 points, the only guy in double figures. Nakita niyo yung score natin, 50-42. to 42. Tama po yan. Uh, you know, may baba yung uh, shooting percentage natin pero ang importante dito, a win is a win for the Cebu Sharks. Dito naman sa kabila, para sa Manila Stars, they're posting a very loaded lineup here. Nakikita nyo yung mga manlalaro dyan. Ito yung naging uh, huling laro nila kanina. Tinalo nila ang Nueva Ecija. They led it by as many as 25 points in that game. Ang ending, 10 uh, puntos yung kanilang lamang sa huli. Sa ilang laro ng Manila Stars, no, the word is dominating. They've been dominating the opponents. Kita natin ito with the fast break points and the bench scoring, 28 and 37. Even the points in the paint, in every category, in every part of the aspect of basketball, dinalamangan ng Manila Stars. Lahat ng kinalaban nila, ito, especially itong Neve Ecija. At magdadagdag pa sila ng dalawang bagong muka ngayong gabi, Jeric Fortuna and Gian Arbrigo will now be part of the lineup para dito sa Manila Stars. Ngayon naman, puntahan natin ang ating marquee matchup of tonight. Nandito 
ang uh, dalawang uh, scorer mula sa magkabilang panic for Manila. You got Carlo Lastimosa for Cebu. You have Patrick Cabajo. Uh, flat out scorers pareho to. College, outside college, and now in the MPBL, they've been uh, etching their names no, as scorers. So, tignan natin how uh, makokontra nilang isa't isa and can they add more than scoring in tonight's ball game? That's right. At ang uh, dalawang uh, manlalaro to kasama ngayon ng ating courtside reporter nandyan si Sheila Salaysay. Sheila? Importante ng papel na ginagampanan ng dalawang manlalaro na ito from their teams. Kasama ko Patrick Abag from Cebu City, uh, Cebu Sharks, Casino, Ethel Agol, and uh, Carlo Lastimosa from Manila Stars, Front Row. Dito muna ako, Patrick. You are labeled as one of the best players we have in the league with your experience in and out of the country. Ngayon, ano yung pwede mong i-import or i-share sa mga teammates mo, especially sa mga additions? Um, sabi ko lang sa kanila, work hard lang at saka enjoy lang yung game nila. Ayun, and uh, good luck for your team ngayon gabi. Carlo, at a young age, you've had the taste of uh, pro leagues. Ngayon na nandito ka na sa MPBL, ano ba yung mga natutunan mo? Uh, siguro yung involved ko lang yung teammates ko more and uh, be more of a decoy na lang sa game. And thank you very much, uh, Carlo. And now let me turn you over to our venue announcer for the starting lineups. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and we are still here at the San Andres Sports Complex in Manila for the main game of today's Triple Header Saturday of the MPBL 2019-2020 Lacan Season Live at Liga HD, I Want Sports, and SNA HD. It's the visiting Cebu Sharks Casino Ethel Alcohol going up against your Manila Stars for one throw. And now let's meet the starters. First, for the Cebu Sharks Casino Ethel Alcohol. At power forward number three, Kevin Villafranca. Shooting guard number 12, Bong Bong Nunez. At center number 14, Will Macaloni. Playing point guard number 17, Michael Senita. And at small forward number 19, Patrick Cabajo. The head coach for the Cebu Sharks Casino Ethel Alcohol is Sting Manalili. And now make way for the starting lineup of the Manila Stars front row. At shooting guard number two, Carlo Lastimosa. Small forward number 21, Mark Dyke. At point guard number 27, Chris Piton. Playing center number 33, Ronnie Matias. And at power forward number 20, 57, Aris Dionisio. The head coach for the Manila Stars front row is Tino Pina. The officials for the small game are Jovet KV Octavia, Che Castroverde, and Romeo Gestoni Alcoran. Portman is smart. Joseph Suba. All right, so we're back to our coverage here. At kikilalanin na natin ang magsisimula para sa parehong kupunan, Villa Franca. Cabajo, Macaloni Jr., Senita Nunez para sa Cebu. Sa kabila naman, Dyke, Dionisio, Matias, Lastimosa, Pitoon para sa Manila Stars. Ito ang day number 16 ng inyong Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League Lacan season. We are down to our last game today. And it's gonna be between the Manila Stars versus the Cebu Sharks. Dalawang kupunang galing sa pagkakapanalo dito sa ating lakan season. And we win or we start the ball game here. First possession goes to Manila. We're coming off that big win against Anueva Ecija. A 10-point win. Could have been more though, Coach Mudit. Pero talagang pinapakita nitong Manila yung reinforced lineup nila dito sa lakan season natin. 
they are they can dominate this league uh, at this point. They've already dominated the start of the season, you know. Wala pang abrigo tao, Jeric Fortuna doon. So, it would be a treat also, you know, and uh, also a uh, mystery yeah. how uh, they will make it work. Na nandiyan si Abrigo. Sa kabila naman, Coach Butet, etong Cebu, they have, you know, very interesting pieces as we see Kabahog miss from the outside. How do they keep up with this offense of Manila? Well, they're not household names, yeah. but they are tough competitors. Mga Cebuano to, basta sinabi mong basta basketball na mga taga-Bisaya ka, Cebuano ka, taas ang uh, respeto mo kagad dyan. And they're not household names, but they will make uh, Manila, the Manila Stars bleed for every point. Ayan. After the first basket there, ni Senita, umupo na itong bench ng uh, Cebu. Yan yung uh, naging tradisyon nila dito sa MPBL Lacan season at the very least. Hanggang makakuha sila ng unang basket, nakatayo yung buong bench as we see Chris Bitoon get the foul there. Yan yung mga tradisyon eh. Ang nagpasimula niyan si Roy Williams mm. ng North Carolina eh. eh paano kung buong first quarter, hindi na kasi ano? <laughs> O nangawit or whatever. But anyway, yeah. Itong Cebu, Cebu uh, Casino, no? Itong uh, Cebu Sharks. Yeah. They're going to be a tough team to play against every night. You know, matalo man sila, maalala mo sila eh. Yun lang yun. But they can, uh, they have the tools and they have the courage really to uh, to steal one from uh, Manila Stars. That's right. Tonight, uh -huh. tonight tingnan natin. It'll be interesting to see that. Playing spoilers dito sa bahay ng uh, Manila Stars sa San Andres Sports Complex. Makikita natin, pressure agad mula dito sa Manila. So, assistant coach Tino Pinat, siya ngayon yung mag-head coach. Wala si Coach Ariel. Well, uh, actually, si Coach Tino Pinat ang head coach uh -huh. ng uh, Manila Stars. And then as a consultant si um, Coach Ariel. Role ito si Coach yeah. Ariel Pangguardia. So, two all to begin this ball game. 8 and 25. Yan po ang uh, clock natin dito. Nunez. Tough guy. Nakita natin siya dun sa laro against the Marikina Shoe Masters. Actually, ako, a big fan ako ng uh, itong Cebu Shark, itong si Macaloni. Yeah. Sobra. Ever since nakita ko ito sa MPBL, may mga tinatago talaga itong Cebu eh. Meron. Oh, William Macaloni Jr. And that is Patrick Cavajo knocking down the triple, giving the three-point lead as well for Cebu. If there's a household name naman sa Cebu, it's really Patrick uh, Cavajo na really naggumawa ng pangalan niyan when he was still uh, in Manila. Yeah. Dito sa Manila pala, actually, sa Adamson College. So, journeyman din to si Patrick Cavajo. You know, traveling to different countries in Asia, naglalaro ng basketball. Mananatili ang bola dito sa Manila Stars. Kaya kahit gano'ng kalalim tong Manila, si Patrick Cabao, unfazed na yan eh. Yeah. Sanay na yan sa ganyan eh. Uh -huh. Ba ibang competition na yung naharap niya ni Patrick Cabao. Ronnie Matias. Matias on the double pump. Deep si Du. Ito nga si Ronnie Matias, hindi pa pumuputok ang laro na ito. E, isa pa ito, napakagaling na bata. Yeah. Very tough guy na naglaro ng maraming taon sa uh, professional leagues natin. Look at this move coming from Ronnie Matias. The dipsy do wow. to avoid Villa Franca. Batang bata move. Ah. <laughs> Four to five is the count here. Nunez getting hounded by two guys. McAloney Jr. puts the ball on the floor. McAloney, Mindes, tight with the rebound. Here comes Biton. Chris, pupuntahan si Aris Junisio. Junisio, naabangan ni Villa Franca. Matias mula sa ilalim. Tapi ka ng bola, napunta kay Patrick Cabahog. Ayun siya sabi natin, no? ito yung panabla rito ng Cebu Sharks. Ano? They can really play tough defense yeah. on you. Wala, hindi nila kinilala si Matias, si <laughs> Junisio, sino kayo? Banggaan kung banggaan mula dito sa mga player ng Cebu. Pero airball yung pinakawalan doon ni Nunez. Junisio, they go to the middle. Last Temosa. No good on the bank. Matias gets the ball back. Taik. Oh, Taik got the contact. And again, showing us and flexing the muscles here is Mark Taik. Eh, isang hindi pa nga napapasok ng Cebu. Ito si, mamaya, makita na si Poligrates. Yeah. Yun, oh, yun, sikat na sikat yun. Eloy Poligrates, oh, off the bench siya. Oh, Patrick Cabajo oh. trades another triple here. Two triples is six points. Para dito sa Cebu at kay Patrick Cabajo. Patrick Cabajo, ready yan sa challenge. Yeah. Si Kuka Carlo Lastimosa lang, batang-bata yan. Akin muna itong laro to. <laughs> Mark Dyke, Mentes mula sa kabila. Kandang hanap sana yon. Nunez, putting on the Jets, feeding Macaloni Jr. 
And a tough foul given up there by Ronnie Matias. You gotta give a tough foul on a tough guy like uh, Macaloni. Pangalan pa lang eh. <laughs> cowboy na cowboy oh. na eh. Macaloni. Hanap din yung banggaan nila dito ni uh, Ronnie Matias. Kaabang-abang eh, no, Coach Butet. You're looking at the big uh, the big guys, pero when you look at the guard position, right. Tabahog, Senita, Nunez, these are not pushovers. Yeah. Nope. These are tough guards that you know, they're willing to give up their bodies para bantayan yung mga scorer ng kabilang team. Pumasok na para dito sa Cebu, si Rafi Octubre. Two for two, itong si Macaloni Jr., a four-point lead maintained by Cebu. Mark Dyke against the smaller Nunez. Ibibigay nila kay Lastimosa sa kabila. Lastimosa. Pito on for three. Pito on knocks it down. Uh, that was a tough shot. It was a good defensive uh, effort by Sinita. It was just a really a tough shot by Pito on. Limang puntos para dito ay Chris Pito on. Ngayon naman, pupunta tayo kay Sheila Salaysay. Sheila? Yes, Martin, adjustment sa endgame ang naging focus ng Cebu. Yan ang binanggit ni assistant coach Jonas Quintanar being half of the team bago kaya naman hindi pa nakaka-adapt sa sistema. Ngayon, defense ang primary approach towards the game at one thing's for sure, lalaban at totodo sila hanggang sa huli. Balik sa inyo. Maraming salamat, Sheila. Ngayon nga, lamang sila dito ng isa. Sinusubukan nilang pigilan itong si Ronnie Matias. Series of moves for Matias will lead to a foul given up by Cebu. So 10 to 9 beginning here. Almost halfway done. Sa ating uh, first quarter na you know, it has been eventful so far coach put it. Pero hindi ko magamit yung salitang dominating ngayon mm. sa Manila no. Yun nga yung pinagkaiba in today's ball game compared to the previous games ng Manila. Early on pa lang no, dino dominate na nila ang kalaban. Ngayon, yeah. umuol pa lang nga sila eh. And that's how you prevent, you know, the scorers, the elite teams, talagang get them off their game, physicalin mo sila, simulat sa pool pa lang. And they're not intimidated whatsoever. Yeah. They continue to attack and hound the opponents. Lastimosa. Wala yung tira niya. Dionisio on the roll. Easy lay in for Addis Dionisio. Ang gusto ko lang makita sa Cebu is can they keep this up? Keep the pressure on Manila yeah. Stars until sa end game. Yan ang uh, question mark dito para sa Cebu Sharks. They're down by three right now. They were up by a good margin earlier. Ngayon naman, bumulusok na ang Manila Stars. Halfway done here, 4 and 58 remaining to be exact. And we got a replay here. Lastimosa, wala yung tira niya. Dyke got it back and got it to the running and cutting Aris Dionisio for that lay-in. Time out on the floor. We'll be right back here in the MPBL Lacan season. to the ball game here Jonisho double double against Nueva Ecija pero conservative pa yung puntos dito ni Aris eh, no? yeah, he focused on the defensive end no? interesting kung ilang block siya sa game na yan but yeah. 10 rebounds 3 steals with that height uh, with that wingspan no? it's going to be a formidable uh, matchup talaga uh -huh. defensively alam naman natin kung ano yung ginagawa nito ni Aris Jonisho Hand on the ball there. Pito on with a steal. Pito on. Ooh, hard one. Given up here by Nunez, I believe. <laughs> Ang mahirap uh, sa pagkalaban mo, Cebuano. Ang titigas ng buto niya, yeah. eh, katawan eh. So, it may be a normal foul put for them. Yeah. Pero yung final niya, ah, ramdam na ramdam niya yun. Ang tigas. So, sometimes sa iisip ko rin na tinira ako na ito, eh. Uh, pero hindi, normal foul lang. Kita naman natin. Pero ramdam ni... Alaman, oh. Pero siyempre, yun yung uh, ibibigay mo. Especially if you're facing a challenge like the Manila Stars. Kailangan gawin mo yan. Para ma-intimidate sila ng konti and hoping that they, that will uh, get them off track. Uh, don't look now. No? Uti-uting humihiwalay na ang no. Manila. Tignan natin kung... Uh, masagot to ng uh, Cebu Sharks. Si Eloy Pulegrates, pinasok na dito sa ating laro. Ang babatay sa kanya, si Chris Piton. 
nauso talaga yung mga may ponytail long ah. hair. Eh. Sinubukan ko yun, hindi talaga pumwede. <laughs> pwede pa naman. Pwede pa naman. Hindi talaga tumubo yung buko na ganyang kahaba. <laughs> Ito, one on one, kay Dionisio pa. Tabahog. Turn around. Oh, nakapitawan ng bola. Last Temosa on the move. Last Temosa. Recovers. Dionisio for three. Dionisio rims out. Imagine mo, if uh, he can make those shots consistently, you know? oh, he's going to be a really a nightmare. Yeah. Kompleto rekados na itong si Dionisio Poligrates. Mentes mula sa labas. Papakaliwa yung tiro doon ni Eloy Poligrates. May foul tayo sa ilalim. Chris Bitoon ang tatawagan dito. Well, that word uh, that has to happen dito for Cebu is really defiance. Yeah. Yeah. Hindi nila pwede pumasok sa laro to. Lumalamang na unti-unti ang Manila na, ay naku, hindi na tayo makakabol. Palitan ng tao para sa Cebu. Sa Guardia at saka sa forward position nila, Joel Liu papasok kasama si AJ Coronel. AJ Liu, no, naglaro yan for FEU seniors din. No? So, naganda yeah. rin ang, uh, ang kanyang uh, background sa basketball. Right. But again, ito ngayon ang concern ko for Cebu. Yung second group niya. No? Yung second group niya hindi ganun kalalim yeah. unlike the second group of the Manila, uh, Manila Stars. Can you keep up with, uh, you know, the stars. the stars, the bench of this Manila Stars team. Samantala, let's greet first our beloved MPBL Commissioner, Kenneth Duremdes. Again, currently having a meeting for a possible another expansion team dito sa MPBL Lacan season. At ang expansion team na yan ay Iloilo. Ayan, we're looking forward to your safe return here in Manila. Meantime, Villafranca, or that is October rather with a miss, Macaloney Jr. Finally getting a... Uh, clear look at the basket of the offensive rebound. Foul dito kay Mark Dyke. Ito si uh, Macaloni, immovable object din to pag nasa ilalim lang yeah. when he wants to get those rebounds. That's why in the previous game, we were looking forward to his matchup with John Dan Salvador. Kaya lang hindi naglaro dun si John Dan. Gian Abrigo papasok dito. Happy viewing kay Rose Ann Lati at PO3. Clarence Rosales of MPD and PO3. Go Hard Jordan of QCPD. Ito na, ang pinakabagong addition sa Manila Stars, Dian Abrigo. Alam mo ako, ito yung mga tinitingalaan ko mga players sa MPBL. Mula nung nakit, nagpakilala to sa MPBL si John Abrigo, I have been a big fan. Macaloni, a big fan as well. Yeah. And then kahapon lang, just last night, yung si Reverente, si Don hmm. Reverente. So ito yung mga three favorite pa MPBL players ko right now. Masisipag, very tough players, saka walang takot. And they don't demand the ball. Right, no. Basta pero makukuha nila yung numbers nila. They'll yeah. give significant contributions without asking for the ball. Hindi mm. sila mga prima donas or divas whatsoever. Abrigo nang galing sa Mandaluyong El Tigre. I believe last year. Kasama niya pumasok si Jologo of the De La Salle program. Ayan, ito si Abrigo. Sa ilalim. Munti ka nang pumuntos doon. Kakapasok pero lumabas ang bola. Eloy Poligrates, pinabantayan ni Jologo, Poligrates, Oktubre, Oktubre. Runs into trouble, Joey Liu pupuntahan ulit si Eloy Poligrates. Oh! Poligrates. Tatawagan ng offensive foul, ito si Poligrates. Well, for me, wala akong nakitang... Nadulas talaga yung defensive player ni ni Eloy doon, ni Eliud doon no? pero hindi ko naman nakita may pinush siya pa parang uh, ma, parang Jordan to Byron uh, Russell na tulak. Yeah. Wala naman tayong nakita ganoon. So uh, maybe na bigla yung game official natin. I don't know. Tingnan na lang natin mamaya kung may replay pa. Here's the kick out Abrigo for three. Rebound goes to Dionisio. Lumusot kay Bringas. Bito on. Hinanap si Bringas sa ilalim. Awkward yung pagkakasalo. Scramble for the loose ball. Exciting sequence here. Abrigo. Now backing down. Abrigo. Short stab is good. And his first points as a member of the Manila Stars. So yung hawak ni Abrigo yung bola. Yung buong, yung buong stadium. Ano? Usain as agad. Wala pang ginagawa eh. Alam nila yung uh, kalibre nito ni Gian Abrigo. Macaloni Jr. Puts it on the floor. Hard bump against Dionisio that time. And Macaloni. Or be fouled. Kinaban ako doon. Yung nag-reach in si Junisio kay Macaloni. Baka mabali doon. Here's the back down earlier. Turnaround jumper. 
Jordan next uh, turnaround jumper. Uh-huh. Yung, Malakobi. Eh. Yung jump shot nito talagang apex. Nagre-release itong si uh, Abrigo. Tsaka yung separation, ano? We, he dribbled right. inside. Then yung pihit niya pala. Yung iwan yeah. na iwan talaga yung tao niya. Eh. Meantime, here is William McAloney Jr. As a free throw line, one out of two, two and a half remaining. Alalabi sa ating first quarter. Manila stars with possession here. They got the four-point lead. Coronel hounded by or hounding Junisho. Jolo go. Binabantayan ni Poligrates. Jolo. Binigay kay Bringas. Foul dito. Away from the basketball. Tatawag against uh, AJ Coronel. Parang it just takes a lot. A lot of effort to even just stay in step no, with the Manila Stars. True. Totoo, coach. <laughs> Ang dami talagang uh, weapon itong Manila. And Abrigo will head to the free throw line here. Gustong dagdagan yung kanya mga puntos dito. Drops in the first free throw. Eh, magandang kombinasyon kasi yung skill, skill, skill sets na meron to si John Abrigo. Offensive rebounder. Yeah. And then... Uh, a very respectable free throw shooter. Mm-hmm. Two for two, as you mentioned that. Hindi mo na jinx yan, Coach Putit. Uh, on cue tayo ngayon. On, cue, eh. uh, on fire tayo, on <laughs> cue. <laughs> oh, pressure roulette mula sa Manila. Pole gratis ang sumalo ng inbound. Coronel gets it at midcourt. Here's the help by Go. Coronel saving it to the right man. Pole gratis. Coronel. Pole gratis with a fake. Octubre. Defense here by Manila. Six seconds to shoot for Cebu. AJ going baseline. Nata pigan. Ito si Junisho. Two on two. Break out. A blow by, by Aris Junisho. He was fouled though by Joey Lee Yu. But you saw how he evaded the defenders as he was making his way to the hoop. Yeah, he really has uh, had improved that uh, move na may in out na siya. May dribble move na siya. Ganun, no? Parang guarga. And then, but a great defensive play dito by uh, Lee Yu. Right. Free throws mo, no? Trabawin mo sa free throws yung score mo kung gusto mo. Ang chinecheck nila dito, Coach Putit, kung unsportsmanlike yung uh, contact doon ni Joey Lee Yu. Hindi umabot, eh. Ang ikli. <laughs> oh, <laughs> haba kasi ni Aris Dionisio. Inabol niya yung bola, pero wala. Ang layo ng bola. Ang haba niya, eh. At, at, least, at least you took the crowd out of it. Eh. Right. Kasi kung nashoot niya yung dunk na yun, tatay na. Uh-oh. Nagkagulo na rito. Instead, may konting stoppage tayo at momentum breaker. Number 27, Joel Liu. That's his first. Uh, so it's a regular foul for Joel Liu. Aris Junisio nasa free throw line ngayon. Marvin Lee pumasok na para sa Manila. Standout coming from UST. Junisio, soft touch from the free throw line. All around player ng galing sa Sinclair. 2 for 2. 21 to 13. Lumalayo na itong home squad. Here's the inbound. Walang mapuntahan si Joey Lee Yu. Sinalo ni AJ Coronel. Pinuntahan si Poligrates. At maitatawid nila ang bola. Back to Eloy here. Nagahanap ng puntos ng basket itong Cebu. Poligrates binangga si Bringas. Ang napansin ko lang, no? sa ilang games na napanood ko itong Cebu, they always go to some predictable place. Mm. Eh, with, the, with the coaching minds of Coach Ariel Barangwardia and Tony, uh, Tino Pinat, abang na abang na yung mga place na yan. So, I think, kailangan magkaroon ng mga surprise place itong Cebu. Ayan. And on cue, that was Adrian Lau scoring inside. Kinuha sa kabila. Ito si Adrian, ito si Adrian Lau. Another name na hindi mo masyadong kilala, hindi ka familiar, but ah. he is a really a, really a uh, superstar in his own right dito sa MPBL. He also has that touch from mid-range. Jologo, step back, jumper, pasok! Coming into his own, ito si Jologo, no? No, as a shooter para sa Lasal. Did not create much of the dribble. Of the dribble, no. 23 to 15. Under a minute remaining here, October. Titira sa labas, naigse. Rebound goes to Abrigo. Nabangga ni AJ Coronel. Pangalawa ni AJ dito sa ating naro. Ang layo na narating ni Coronel eh. No? Siya yung bumangga, pero siya yung lumipad eh. Meron din kalakas din talaga to si John Abrigo. So Marvin Hayes, 
Papasok para kay Arvin Juni or uh, kay Junisio dito. Aris Junisio. Parang susuko ka na lang. Koy Koy Cebu, susuko ka na lang sa effort eh. Eh, Marvin Hayes at Abjan Abrigo pa lang. Kayang tapatan ng uh, oh. sampung tao yung effort nila eh. Ito, muscle kung muscle. Ang mga big man dito ng uh, Manila Stars. Di pa naglalaro sa kanila. May Mark Lopez pa yan. Oh, oh nakuha ni Abrigo. That's True. what he brings you. True to form eh, no? Uh, bring us while falling down. Got a foul inside. Uh, mananatili ang bola dito sa Manila Stars foul against Rafi Oktubre ang nakikita ng mga referees natin yung mga pasimpleng uh, hawe no, bago rumibound eh. huling huli doon Macaloni Jr. back on the floor for Cebu Marvin Hayes to the free throw line played for JRU imagine mo no John Abrigo siya yung tumira ng free throw. Hmm. Long rebound. Siya nakakuha ng rebound. And then ito ngayon, Marvin Hayes naman sa free throw. So another player na you have to watch out for. Hindi right. kailangan ng, ng play. Hindi kailangan ng uh, bola. Mm -hmm. Pero kukuha at kukuha ng offensive rebounds. Ayan. So yun yung mga perfect pieces around the scorers, uh, Coach Putit. Marvin Lee and Jolo go right now on the floor. Mga right. notable shooters and scorers. Ayan. Ooh! Manila forces the turnover. Lalabas ang bola off the inbound. Hindi na sa Lunilao. Natapik pa palabas. So, 26 to 15. 33 seconds remaining. We were looking for the dominant start from the Manila Stars. And that's exactly what they're giving us right now. Narinig tayo na hindi sila nakaka-dominate pa. No? Ayan, no? marurot agad. Oh. And... Another foul here given up by Cebu. Eloy Puligrates ang tatawagan. So pupunta sa free throw line dito si Joe Logo. Yung uh, itsura ngayon, nakita natin yung coaching staff. Eh, parang bewildered. Uh -huh. no? Ano kaya pwede natin gawin? Parang in a way kanina no, sa second game natin, si Coach Eric Gasco ng uh, Nueva Ecija. There was a time na parang hindi na rin niya alam ang gagawin. And then their run came. Yeah, no? So may, may pag-asa pala. Meron. Kanina kasi, onslaught yung uh, inaabot na Nueva Ecija dun sa Pinyan City. All just connected for Pinyan and then they were able to mount the big lead. Pero ito, 28 to 15, maaga pa lang, bumulusok na ang Manila. 29 seconds remaining here in the first frame. Eloy, pole gratis. Macaloni providing the screen. Poligrates runs into a wall. Coronel, corner triple. No go. And here is Jologo. Nine seconds remaining for Manila. Enough time to get a shot off here. Jolo against Joey Lee Yu. Marvin Hayes. Long jumper is good. That's how you start. Oh, oh. Oh, that's, that's how you end the first quarter. Wow. Dominating airport talaga to Manila Stars. To beat... The buzzer. Itong si Marvin Hayes. At doblihan ang ating score dito. You look at the highlights of the first quarter here. This was part of the fast start by the Cebu Sharks. Patrick Cabahug with a couple of three-pointers to lead the way for Cebu. Pero inunti-unti sila ng Manila. Slowly, they started to click on offense. And now, they're up by 15. And the second group really of the Manila Stars is the one dominating because they're playing against the second group also of the Cebu Sharks. So, 30 to 50 and going into the second frame, magpabalik ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League.
You're still tuned in to Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League Lacan season. Getting the best out of everyone. That's the main goal of Coach Tino Pina. Sa ganda ng pinakita nilang laro against Nueva Ecija, Coach Tino maximized the strengths at naging advantage nila ang kanyang guys who plays one, two, three positions without Mark Lopez for today dahil may sakit. Still, it all boils down to teamwork and playing selfless basketball para magtuloy-tuloy ang panalo. Martin and Coach Putit. Salamat, Sheila. So far, so good for uh, the Manila Stars and Coach Tino. Lamang ng 15 puntos dito. And we have a very uh, interesting stat here. Ang kapantay ng uh, in-score nitong Manila sa free throw line. Ang in-score sa buong first quarter ng Cebu. 15 out of 16 from the free throw line nitong Manila Stars. 5 out of 6 lamang ang uh, Cebu. Uh, 15 free throws for Manila Stars. Yan ay lamang din nila. Actually, oh. 30 to 15. Um, Cebu just couldn't really keep up. Yeah. No, yung second group, lalo na dumami yung fouls nila. Ended with free throws. Eh, ang galing ng free throw shooting ng um, Manila Stars. Now, Coach Putin, if you face you know, these strong teams, uh, siyempre, if you're the owner or if you're the coaches, may realization yan eh, on your part. Parang napasubo tayo dito Ayan, sa Manila. No. no, but I'll take a page from our colleague, si Coach Leo Isaac. Yeah. There was a time, no, na, uh, yung team niya medyo undermanned talaga for a season, pero he was always competitive. Uh -huh. uh, just like Mike Fratello, naalala ko yung Cleveland Cavaliers niya. He really slowed down the pace yeah. ng bawat possessions niya. And then parati siya nagkakaroon ng ano, fighting chance. No? So maybe that's one way of uh, approaching this game against uh, Manila Stars. Na very formidable ang first and second group and maybe even the third group. Huwag kang tumakbo. Bagalan mo, bagalan mo, ubusin mo yung oras. Para sa ganun, you still have a fighting chance until the end of the ball game. Ayan, tignan natin kung magagawa yan ng Cebu Sharks dito. But that's a very interesting point, uh, Coach Putit. But we see here the newest player na itong Manila Stars, one of two. Ito si Jeric Fortuna, the pilot and USD product, pumasok na para sa kanila. Yun ay nickname niya, no? the pilot the kagad. Pilot. Eh, no? <laughs> Bringas, ah, strong move underneath. And the hulking RV Bringas. It's high time na magkaroon na rin ito ng exposure, magkaroon na ng magandang takbo yung kanyang career. Yeah. Highly touted the high school player, itong si RV Bringas of San Sebastian, nagpunta sa FEU ng college. Gloria, natapitan sa likod ni Abrigo. What made that play very spectacular? Naiwan si Abrigo sa backcourt, tahulog, nadulas, umikot. But did you see the sense of urging right. you sprint niya? Talaga hindi lang sprint eh. Super sprint, no? Para lang talaga makahabol siya, makatulong sa depensa. Talagang ramdam mo yung uh, impact nito ni uh, Gian Abrigo on both ends. Making plays like that, yung, yung mga ganong uh, classing plays, Minsan maliit na bagay yan, pero malaki para sa kupunan mo. Ay, yung ginagawa lang niya yung tingin niya makakatulong sa team. It doesn't matter kung ano yun. So kita mo yung hustle, yung effort, yun. and yung heart niya. Here is the inbound. Cortez pumasok na para sa Cebu. Cortez splitting it. Lau, oh, well read by Abrigo, but they got the ball back. Seven seconds on the clock here for the Sharks. And that's a foul on Jerick Fortuna. Pambungad sa karera dito ni Jeric Fortuna sa MPBL. His first game, huh? Yeah. As a player of the MPBL. No, welcome, Jeric Fortuna. Ayan. So, two free throws para dito kay Cortez. Ito, Cortez provided the stability in offense against Marikina when they were trying to find, you know, ways to score the basketball. Si Cortez, you know, did the intangibles, led the way for Cebu. Sakto ka doon, no? Um, itong si Cortez, maybe this would be a key yeah. second group, itong si Cortez, because he really is a good ba point guard and can control the game, you know, with, with the many skills that he has. That's right. Ooh! Foul here in transition. <laughs> Jeric Fortuna, welcome wow. to uh, the shoulder of Makaloni. <laughs> so, two quick fouls ang uh, ibinigay dito ni Jeric Fortuna. Matagal din kasi yan nasa taas, nasa, lang, nasa langit, nasa sa himpapawid. Diba? Kaya, kaya ngayon lang siya nakatuntong sa lupa ulit. Eh. Ayan, no. no. But what Jeric Fortuna can give, eh, already oh. formidable uh, Manila Stars, Stability at the point guard at, right. in the second and third group pa, baka. No? 
Di ba, may fortuna ka pa? <laughs> sa third group? Nakakainis, oh. ano? Pero yeah, you need that in a long season. Baka may ma-injure na key guard sa first, sa first group mo. A bit too on, malamang. Baka uh -huh. ma-injure, ma no? So at least ready yung team now. So credit the, the management team, the coaches of Manila for putting up you know, a very formidable team. That's right. Jeric Fortuna escaping. Marvin Lee for three. Oh, too strong. UST to UST yun. Ito si Craniel Viloria. Binabantayan ni Lee. Viloria gets it across. Craniel, petangan pa rin ang bola, picks it up. Cortez will be fouled by Fortuna. So that's three fouls. May lakad siguro to si Jerry, kaya gusto niya tayo malis na sa game na to. Nahiya lang, magsabi. <laughs> that's in a span of a minute or two. Para dito kay Jerry Fortuna. Three fouls. In his first game here in the MPBL, as he was nakakapit eh. Oh, uh, ito si Cortez. Lastimosa back in for Manila. John Ubalde to inbound it. Part of the third group for the Manila Stars, John Lopez. Oh, uh, Viloria of the inbound couldn't drain the jumper. Bitoon, handing it against Ubalde. Ito si Lopez, last Mosa. <laughs> Foul there against Macaloni Jr. <laughs> Hindi nakita ni Macaloni na bumabackpick si Marvin Reyes. Ayun, no? Huli. Ito mo ba itong si Marvin Hayes? Not yet in the penalty, itong si Boo Sharks. Ito on here on your screens. So warning at tinawag dito kay assistant coach Jonas Quintanar. Who actually played for the Cebu Sharks mm -hmm. uh, no first season. Mm -hmm. So baka gusto niya ulit maglaro dito. <laughs> coach Butet na talagang Kailangan may 48 hours na ano eh, na abiso bago malain up. <laughs> Ito si Chris Bitoon. Against Ubalde. On top here, Bitoon. The bounce to Lopez. Abrigo. Mauubusan ng oras itong Manila Stars. And that would be the start here for Cebu. A stop. 32-19. It has to happen now kung gusto nilang... Uh, magkaroon ng momentum going into the second half. Eh? Ang hirap yan, 32-19, binibigyan mo ng ganyang kumpiyansa ang already a dominating effort by the Manila Stars. Here's Craniel Viloria, hounded by Carlo Lastimosa Viloria, feeding Macaloni for the reverse. I was about to say na para ang sama ng penetration na yan because si Macaloni was there. Yeah. No? Ang sama ng spacing, but uh, they found a way, unti-unti, inching their way back to this ball game. It is down to 11, Carlo Lastimosa. Manila Stars. Well ahead in this game. Marvin Hayes with a catch. They go to the corner. Bito on for three. Bito on in and out. And Marvin Hayes right there for the cleanup job. And that ha happened because of the effort of uh, John Lopez. Ano, yung tapik niya papunta sa kakampinyang si Marvin Hayes. 34-21. And again... The big men, yung talagang uh, rebound and put back guys para dito sa Manila Stars continuing to work. Macaloni attacks, dangerous fall. At si Hayes yung kumuha sa kanya doon. It was just really a case of bad positioning for Marvin Hayes. Hindi naman niya akala yung tatalo na siyang gano'n ni Macaloni rin eh. Ito yung galaw ni Macaloni, one dribble in from the right. Papalikod pa itong uh, direksyon ni Marvin Hayes nung sinalubong siya nito ni Macaloni. Pero titignan mo yung mukha ni Macaloni ngayon, parang wala lang. Uh -oh. no? And he just shook his wrist. Ayan, oh, rin issue. It's going to take a lot no? para maapektohan talaga ito si Macaloni. Tigas. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Parang pader. But a timeout here. 
free throws coming for Macaloni on the other end of this timeout. 13 puntos ang abante ng Stars. Back to the coverage here. And Magaloni Jr. at si Adrian Lau. Ito yung mga numero nila sa unang dalawang laro para sa Cebu Sharks. Ah, wala talaga yung uh, <laughs> production nung second game nila against Marikina. Well, not a lot of offense also para sa parehong kupunan dun sa larong yun. So, you can make that argument for, for both of these players. Yeah, but you just have to look at last season then, ano, Adrian Lau and Sam Macaloni, really pillars of strength for the Cebu Sharks. Right. Pero in today's ball game, tong first half, si Adrian Lau, no, nowhere to be seen. So, yun yung missing link kreata for the Cebu Sharks. Kaya, may 13-point lead ang um, Manila Stars. Macaloni at the free throw line here. Napabati tayo si Ryan the Pedran. Binabati natin. Happy birthday. Galing dito kay uh, kasama nating si Jeff dito sa MPBL broadcast team. Macaloni converting on the free throw, trimming the lead down to 11 points. Oh! Ooh. Dito on, turns the ball over. Cool, cool lang yung natamaan. Eh. Okay, para, para, ready lang, wala lang. Ay, tinamaan ba ako? Parang napasahan <laughs> lang, ganun. <laughs> Pero alam mo, itong Cebu Shark, I mean, yung effort that they're putting out para lang sumabay. Okay, admirable. Eh ngayon, pinasok ng uh, Manila Stars. Yung first group nila Ay, na very na. fresh. <laughs> May agaw agad. Munti ka na. Adrian Lau feeding Macaloni. Good big. Macaloni converts. Macaloni really uh, feeding the challenge. Huh? Huh? Game, Sige, bring it on. Talagang inapalikat na ito ni Macaloni. 12 puntos na. Para kay Macaloni dito sa ating first half. May foul tayo. Kaling dito kay Ubalde. Second team foul for Cebu. 5 and 14 remaining. 15 seconds to shoot for the Stars. Carlo Lastimosa has been relatively quiet so far in this ballgame. Binigay kay Pito on sa kanto. Masyadong malakas. Doesn't get the bounce. Macaloni rips out the rebound. Tama, yung laban na binibigay ni Macaloni sa Manila Stars. Eh. Talagang game face siya dito, oh, Coach Putit. Si Adrian Lau might not be doing a lot, pero may mga assist siya eh. Right. Oh. Oh. And Biton forces the turnover against Cortez. Kanyang kapeski na bantay itong si Chris Biton. Not taking anything away no, from uh, the effort, the defensive effort din talaga ng Manila Stars. Right. Carlo Lassimosa on top here. The bounce to Lopez. Kanto ulit. Open look. Lalapit si Biton. Wala pa rin. Malamig si Chris Piton. Viloria. Accelerating. Craniel Viloria to the hoop. Grabe yung ginilaw niya no, against a John Lopez. Hindi akalain siguro ni John Lopez din na may ganung hang time. Ayan. Ito si Viloria. Ito may burst of speed. At sya, uh, pag iba ng bilis ito ni Craniel Viloria. Lopez. Para bumuelo kanina. Junisio. Piton, blowing by Viloria. Piton floats it up. Count it plus the foul for Chris Piton. Such a luxury no, for any coach na may Chris Piton ka na who can really shoot the lights out from yeah. outside and then makaya pa po menetrate. He's a strong lefty. No? Hindi pa rin na papag-aaralan ng mga kalaban yun. Yun lang, nakikita uh, ko sa kanila. Kaya pa rin na uh, i-check itong si Chris Piton. But he did the right thing there, coach. Malamig siya mula sa labas eh. So what he did, he took it strong, got the hoop, and the three-point play opportunity. Nakompleto pa niya. O, oh, three points pa rin, di ba? Ah. Oh, ganun pa rin. Eh. So, yeah. Balik sa sampu ang lamang. Sampung puntos para dito kay Chris Pitoon. Ito si Cortez. Hounded by Chris. Adrian Lau. Pinabantayan ni Dionisio. Foul against Aris. Exactly, kasi hindi binigyan ng space ni Dionisio eh. So, pag ilikutan siya doon, ayun, sumabit yung hita ni Dionisio kay Adrian Lau. 
Pangalawang foul galing, eh, galing kay Aris Dionisio. Ito si Patrick Cabahog. Matagal-tagal na naupo sa bench ng Cebu. Matapos niyang maipasok yung dalawang tres kanina, Coach Putit. Oh, ito sa hot start for him. Ano? Tapos parang nawala na siya sa eksena. Yeah, eh. Oo. Adrian Lau nasa free throw line ngayon. The Cebu Sharks, you know, trying everything here in the first half to keep in step. Again, we, we've been mentioning this. At saka kabulin lang itong lamang ng Manila Stars. Adrian Lau rattling that one in. Sanita papasok para kay Cortez. So parang first group versus first group na rin. Alam mo si Adrian Lau, pareho lang sila ni Macaloni. Hindi mo makikita sa mukha nila kung ano yung laban na meron eh. <laughs> Game face lang. Poker face lang all throughout, coach. Galing, ano? Yun yung mga gusto mo, eh. Last de Mosa fires. Tight with the offensive rebound. Poked away by Ubalde. The bounce. Sanita couldn't handle it. Dionisio gets it back. Dionisio. And Mark Dyke. Count it. That's a foul and a finish for Mark Dyke. And a three-point play opportunity. Admirable job for Cebu, but the Manila Stars... Ready, no? Sa lahat ng iba ng Cebu, ready silang bumawi, eh. Kinontra ni Dionisio. Aris Dionisio started that one with a steal, and then Mark Dyke. A continuation. Abante ulit ng sampo itong uh, Manila Stars. May chance ang maging once, Todo effort yung palo dun ng, uh, ng Cebu kay Dyke. Pero si Dyke parang nakakagat lang ng langsam, eh. Kailangan i-todo palo, pero yun nga... Parang wala lang para kay Mark Dyke. Not even adjusting. What you want it? I think na nagalit eh. Ayan. Pero hindi nasaktan siguro. <laughs> Ooh! Turnover by Cebu. No, this is not the time for them to give away possessions to Manila. This is the perfect opening for the Manila Stars at the end of the first half. Parang to uh, the break the box of uh, Cebu, no? Yeah. They should bounce on this opportunity with last three minutes dito to end the first half. Mark Dyke going to Carlo Lastimosa. Lastimosa, natapikan sa likod. Good steal. And Obade is all alone for the finish. Again, defiant. Ano? Itong Cebu, they, don't, they refuse to believe na matatalo sila rito. Yeah. And they're just uh, putting out the effort na match a challenge itong Manila Stars. Just cutting it out, itong uh, Cebu Sharks. Ubalde, tight, tight na. Tapikin ulit ni Ubalde. Ubalde outing bitoon now, pero masyadong agresibo itong si John Ubalde. Too aggressive, really. Yun lang ang problema. Ganda ng effort, pero kita mo kung ano talaga ang fighting spirit nitong Cebu Sharks. Yeah. Di aatras to sa Manila Stars, kahit nandito pa sila sa home court nila. Ito ang problema, Coach Putin. Tatlong fouls na itong si Ubalde, who did a lot on the defensive end for Cebu. But at least, ito ngayon si Nunez, fresh, fresh. off the bench. Tingnan lang natin. Chris Bitoon, pupunta sa ating free throw line. 11 puntos with that free throw. Alam mo, tahimik na 11 puntos yan, Coach Putit. Kasi syempre, nakarami siyang miss dun sa kanto kanina, mga open looks. But Chris Bitoon getting his numbers here. Missing on the second. Six out of seven now from the free throw line. Itong si Bitoon, 41-31. Who will Cebu go to? They go to their best scorer, Patrick Abahog. Abahog. Ah, up and under. Hindi nga lang gagana against Dionisio. Ay, ang ganda nung galaw na yun. Pero those are the things na kailangan ng uh, Cebu from ka Patrick Abahog. Tyke, uh, not his usual move. Kaya medyo wild yung tira niya. Senita. Nunez, back to Senita here. Approaching the last two minutes of the first half. He's got Carlo Lastimosa. Deflected by the long arms of Aris Dionisio. Oh, Grabe, no? Nadelay ng konti si Aris Dionisio, but yung hustle niya, and then again, yung long uh, arms niya, yeah. uh, uh, made that uh, deflection possible. Hindi na ngayon nakatira si Bo. Sa pang matagal natin hindi nakita, Coach, si Ronnie Matias. Ganun sila kalalim eh. Oo. Oh, oh. hindi mo masisisi yung coaches kung paminsan nakakalimutan nila. Ayan, oo. Oh, kasi maganda yung nilalaro. Yun mga players. Nunez. Nunez. 
Wala. Macaloni, what a putback. Ooh. What a play by uh, Macaloni. Again, isa sa mga ED ni Dulo ko rito sa MPBL. 14 puntos para kay Will Macaloni Jr. Dionisio. Punta sa poste. Matias, reverse. Sobra. Ito si Sanita. And really, ito si Macaloni. Ha, sa really done a good job of yeah. uh, staying, uh, defending the post well against Marvin Hayes, Dionisio, mm -hmm. and even uh, Ronnie Matias. Yeah. She's been, or he's been the most stable guy here, both ends of the floor, para sa Cebu. Talagang nagiging anchor nila yan itong si Macaloni as Matias rattles in that jumper. A long two-pointer for Ronnie Matias. Sa ispuntos na ang kanyang iniaambag. And if you have Ronnie Matias knocking down these jumpers, Coach Potit, iiyak si Macaloni. Oh. <laughs> Kasi he's really doing a, a lot of things already on the offensive end. Yeah. Tapos didepensa pa siya. Tapos titirahan ka sa labas. Mahirap talaga yun. 10 point lead by Manila as we go into this gap. Balik tayo sa ating coverage dito sa MPBL Lacan season. Ito ang Liga ng Bawat Pilipino, ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. Good-sized crowd here on a Saturday sa loob ng San Andres Sports Complex sa Malate, Manila. Home of the Manila Stars. At ito nga, ang ating laro ngayon, sampo ang lamang ng home team 43-33. to Cebu Sharks doing just enough to keep it or you know, make this one a ball game. Oh. To keep in striking distance. Right. Balikan natin yung mga nag-resulta natin. Hindi kanina lamang. Unang naro. Ay nanalo ang Rizal. Golden Coolers kontra sa Muntin Lupa. 70-66 to get their first victory of the season. Pakalamang laro naman. Binyan City tinalo ang Nueva Ecija sa score na 98-90. Oh. At Binyan din nakakuha ang kanilang unang panalo sa ating torneo. Ito si Macaloni Jr. balik sa ating free throw line after getting fouled in the process earlier. Macaloni Jr. so far 80% shooting. 8 out of 10 from the line. Ay, wala na akong masasabi dito sa Cebu Sharks tong first half. Ang uh, concern ko na lang is pagdating sa dulo ng laro, do they still have enough? Ito si Cebu yeah. Sharks to really be competitive against the Manila Stars. That's right. Of course, in the end game, firepower nagkakatalo talaga. Dalawa lang yan. Either at the end of the third, di kitang laro. Yeah. Pero pagdating ng fourth, magpupull away ni Manila yeah. Stars. Or they have enough, itong Cebu Sharks, na makakadikit sila hanggang sa dulo ng laro. That's something we need to find out. But so far, it is a nine-point lead for the Stars. Lastimosa, Bitoon, Bitoon, Lumi Discarte, Bitoon, step back jumper, Kapos. Abrigo, offensive rebound. Hindi nag-reset ang shot clock. Naagaw ni Sanita. 3 on 2 break. Patrick Cabahog, 3 in transition. No go. Abrigo with the rebound here. He will go to Carlo Lastimosa. About a 7 second difference between the clocks. Carlo Lastimosa hounded by Sanita. 8 seconds to work with. Lastimosa. Ooh. Offensive foul, moving screen, ang tinawag dito kay Matias. Lubos yung oras para lang doon. Ano? Eh, parating yung sinasabi sa mga kaliga natin yan. Eh. Ang screener, ding-ding yan. Uh -huh. Walang ding-ding na gumagalaw, kaliwat kanan. Talaga, walang umuslinga na bottom doon. Eh, no? uh -huh. Nahuli doon si Ronnie Matias. 8 seconds remaining. Oktubre, kabahog, extra pass. Oktubre mula sa free throw line. Tapos, that will mark the end of the first two quarters of play dito sa ating third and final game tonight. Abante ng siyam na puntos itong Manila Stars to the score of 43-34. to 34. Ayan po ang ating score dito at halftime. Pagbalik po natin 
Ibigyan namin kayo ng halftime stats and analysis. Nanonood pa rin kayo ng Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. Junior ng Carlos P. Garcia High School Manila, isang guro. Bilang isang guro, ang pinaka-return of investment namin pag nakita namin yung mga, mga estudyante namin na... Wow, what a shot by Janamon. Well, you talk about imposing your will. One, two, three blue shirts surrounding him. No problem. Calagio. Nakagawa ni Puligrates. And this will be a free lay upon the other end for Eloy. It's always an adventure pag... Uh, it wasn't an easy shot that yeah. he did, no? and he just made it look easy. That's right. Oh, my rapion. How talented that is. Coach Leo, it's a 30-point turnaround. Uh, oh, what a pass! <laughs> Eric Acuna! Eyes behind his head. Oh, I think the long pass ni Gab Manal assist na yun, nilelay up na lang ni Eric Acuna. Pero pinigyan pa ng isang behind the back pass itong si Eric Acuna, si Caliente. Mas magandang panoor. Matala, final seconds dito. Upward oh! team! <laughs> Alvin Milagrosa, three-point courts. Bakit nga naman hindi? Tignan natin kung counted. Wow, Milagrosa really playing. Uh, bagay na bagay yung pangalan niya. Milag Milagro yung pangalan niya. Dangerous there, but Bitton breaks three. Oh, ho they lose the basketball, and P.J. Peru is going to go all the way! Aris Junisio with the rejection! Ang ganda naman ng ginawang depensa na yun ni Aris Junisio. Lamang ng isa o dalawang hakbang itong si Peru, pero inabol itong si Aris Junisio sa ere at nasupalpal niya para mapanatili ang lamang at ang panalo sa Manila Stars. What a game-winning block! Oh, oh.
nagbabalik pa rin ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League Lacan season with me this halftime our uh, Sir Edwin Palisok, a sales manager, HD Mega Trucks and Equipment and Manila team sponsor. Of course, uh, Manila team manager, Neil Arce and uh, Cebu Sharks team manager, Romel Asuncion. Unahin ko muna si Sir Romel. Sir Romel, temporarily wala si Mantilla, not until the end of UAAP season. And you have Brian Elad now, part of the coaching staff. Ngayon, with your additions, which is a good thing for your team, how improved na ba ang uh, Cebu Sharks para sa season na ito? Uh, Nag-improve siguro kami sa speed because uh, yung dinagdag namin, much younger. So, mas mabilis sila ngayon. And uh, siguro, ano na rin, uh, experience na lang ang kailangan niya improve. Kasi ang core naman ng team, eh, andyan pa rin yung iba eh. And that's why we are looking forward po for the second half ngayon. Medyo na kayong bumate at magpasalamat. Yeah, uh, thank you to sponsors namin, uh, Casino Ethyl Alcohol. And uh, sa Cebu fans, sana keep on supporting. Tapos thank you din sa Manila for hosting the game. And sa mga co-managers ko rin, sila Boss Dennis, Boss Chris, Boss Ross, Boss Sheila, and uh, Boss uh, Borgi. Hi. Thank you very much, Sir Mel, and good luck po. Dito naman tayo, Sir Edwin, welcome to MPBL. Ngayon, can you tell us more about your organization at paano nyo ba pinapakita ang suporta sa Manila? Um, good evening. HD Megatrucks is a full range of equipment uh, from mining, construction, boring, and lifting equipment. So sa pag-suporta naman sa Manila Stars, uh, Lagi namin pinapanood yung laro ng Manila Star. We are always present in their games. Ngayon, ito naman pagkakataon yung mag-imbita sa lahat ng mga tagba support. Uh, sa lahat ng nanonood ngayon, uh, please support Manila Stars. And diabati ko rin yung boss ko, si Ma'am Aimee, si Sir Daniel Dagdag, sa asama ko si Michelle, si Jokar, uh, sa wife ko nanonood ngayon, si Vangelis, daughter ko, si Caitlin Palisok. Maraming salamat, Sir Edwin. And last but not the least, Sir Neil, your, started that, uh, your, your team started well for uh, this first half. Ngayon, with your new guys sa roster, masasabi mo ba na they have already adjusted sa system? Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, si Abrigo at si Fortuna recently na nakapag-practice ulit kasi uh, na-injure. Uh, si Jeric, kakapasok lang sa team, tapos si Abugian na uh, injure. Uh, pero so far naman, uh, they're very intelligent players, eh. so madali sila maka-adapt sa mga sa system namin. Tapos, uh, actually, hindi pa kompleto yung lineup namin. Eh. So, hopefully, through the season, kasi medyo mahaba yung season natin, hopefully, makapag-adjust naman lahat. Marami pa palang kaabang-abang sa Manila Stars. Ang yan, any uh, shoutouts po sa lahat ng sumusuporta? Uh, Siyempre, sa sponsors namin, Front Row, kay, uh, kay Sam Versosa. Uh, Manila Mayor, uh, Isko Morena, Moreno. Uh, <laughs> And uh, sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa Manila Stars, thank you. Thank you so much. Sir Neil Arce, Sir Romel Asuncion, and Sir Edwin Balisok. Ngayon, balik sa inyo, Martin and Coach Putit para sa Halftime Stats. Maraming salamat, Sheila. At Halftime here, we got the Manila Stars up by 9, 43-34 to 34 over Cebu Sharks. At the Halftime highlights natin dito. Cebu actually got off to a great start here, uh, Coach Putit. Pero it was only a matter of time. Na nag-init na. Unti-unti itong Manila Stars. Chris Piton leading the way with 11 points. At uh, nakakuha sila ng malaking laman kanina. They were up by, you know, a lot in this ball game, Up by as many as 15 points, Coach Putit. And credit also uh, to their defense. They forced a lot of turnovers, got a lot of steals against Cebu to create this lead. Yeah, cream always rise on top. Ano? Kaya makikita natin itong Manila Stars. Just a matter of time. But it was a tale of uh, two quarters. No? Uh, itong Manila made their run in the last five minutes of the first quarter with a 17-5 run. And then, bumawi naman itong Cebu with a 19-13 run in the second quarter. So, kaya dumikit ulit yung laro. Makikita natin dito ang ating uh, stats of the first half. Second chance points, points of turnovers. You know, those are the departments. Idagdag mo pa dyan yung free throw shooting na naging diferensya nung ating first quarter, uh, Coach Putin. Well, kaya humiwalay ang uh, Manila Stars din. No? Cebu gave uh, the Manila Stars really 12 of 16 free, ay, rather 18 of 20 free throws right. yung Manila Stars. So, doon pa lang, yun na yung lamang eh, no, kanina. 
But uh, bumawi rin to Manila bumawi. Stars. No? Oh. Binigyan din nila ng 12 of 16 free throws yeah. din. Kaya nakabawi, naka, nakadikit ulit ang Cebu Sharks. At Cebu talaga ang very... No, hindi sila nagpapatalo dito sa ating laro, especially on the defensive end. And Will McAloney Jr. Binabalikat na itong uh, kanyang kupunan. 15 points in the first half. Sa kabila naman, it's Chris Bito on with 11 points. Pero talaga yung effort ni Macaloni on both ends of the floor to keep his team in this ball game is just, you know, 100%. So it's Macaloni versus Bito on. Yeah. It's Macaloni versus Marvin Hayes. Macaloni versus the other big men dito ng Manila Stars. So it's always Macaloni. And then to si Adrian Lau, unti-unting tumutulong na. So tingnan natin, etong second half. Ito yeah. interesting. Again, second half. Ito yung quarter kung magdo-dominate pa itong Manila Stars o didikit itong uh, Cebu Sharks. It is now underway. Third and final game tonight. Carlo Lastimosa. Crossover on Poligrates. Lastimosa in the lane. Swish, swish for Lastimosa. Bigla si Poligrates doon. Dahil sanay siyang siyang gumagawa ng mga ganong galaw. So tingnan natin, baka masusiyan din si Poligrates. Ayan. Masusiyan, ma-challenge ni Carlo Lastimosa. Unang basket sa ating laro. Believe it or not, para kay Carlo Lastimosa. First basket made after five attempts. Rafi Octubre gets that one on the reverse. Ako sabihin ko, sa wakas, no? nakascore din si Rafi Octubre. Ang gaganda ng mga desisyon niyang umatake, hindi lang nahuhulog. Eh. Yan, oo. Pero kanina pa rin umaatake itong si Octubre. Finally, a basket for him. Lastimosa! Back to back. That time from three-point rage for Lastimosa. Pinagbibigyan lang pala yung kakampi nung first half. Siya naman ngayon. Lugi na siya eh. Sabi mo, kayang-kaya. May on-switch talaga itong mga scorers ng Manila Stars. They know when to take over. When they take over, talagang it goes into bunches. Pero itong, uh, or goes in bunches rather. Pero may foul tayo away from the ball. Mark Dyke ang natawagan dito. Very imposing yung uh, yung itsura ni Dyke. Ano? Compared to a Patrick Cabahog na medyo right. patpatin. But yung uh, experience ni Pat Cabahog and yung skill sets na meron to. Tignan natin kung paano paglalaroan supposedly dito ni Patrick Cabahog yung mga defenders niya. Ayan. Turnover. So babalik ang bola dito sa... Manila Stars. It is 48-36. That is the count here. Arlo Lastimosa. Five straight points. Off the bat. Off the gates. Dito sa ating second half. Wala yung tira niya. Bit of a heat check there for Carlo. Pero nakuha niya yung bola. Off the steal. Oh, Carlo tried to get fancy there. Pero sumabit yung bola sa likod. Eh, Carlo Lastimosa may ganyan yan eh. Yung, uh, he's get, he gets carried away sometimes. No? Kita mo, mula, mula nung simula yung third quarter, wala nang ibang tumira siya lang eh. Oo, siya lang. <laughs> kaya, kaya tingnan lang natin how, how he can control himself also. Tanda mo, apat na kakampi niya, mga superstars in their own right na rin. That's right. May aga ulit dito ang Manila. Dionisio with the steal. Dionisio, no go. Macaloni falling down. So, ball will go back to Cebu. Tanggal pa yung sapato si Junisio. Pero, kita mo naman, Macaloni was there to secure that ball for his team. Right. Wow, Macaloni just doing a heck of a job. Paul Banyon type of tie, ano, at uh, effort. Mm -hmm. No question dyan sa effort ni Macaloni. Pero, yung teammates niya, yun yung kailangan tumulong dito, Coach Putit. Lalo na sa guard position, uh -huh. ano? hindi pwedeng puro sa ilalim ang laro dahil kailangan bumuka yung floor for the, for the Macalonis and the Octobre. That's right. Senita gets it across Octobre. Nunez. Go, go back out here to Senita. Patrick Cabajo. Perfect time for him to explode. Cabajo, step back jumper. That patented shot is good. Again, sa John Abrigo na yun. Ito yung magandang matchup. Ngayon, masusubukan si Patrick Cabajo. Pero yung kalmadong-kalmado pa rin itong uh, disposition ni Patrick Cabajo. Offensive foul ang tinawag dito kay Chris Biton. They won't back up. I back out. Ano? Itong uh, aatas itong mga players ng, yeah. ng Cebu Sharks. Lalo na ito si Senita. He's a very feisty guard. Simpleng-simpleng tsura. Hindi mo nga kalain. He's got the body to 
defend itong si Chris Bitoan at pahirapan siya dyan sa kanyang opensa. Again, yan ang mga Cebuano. Yan. Senita, driving, dishing, Macaloni, no good. Had to adjust right there because the defense was there. So, mananatili ang bola dito sa Cebu. May pabati tayo. Happy birthday. Again, kay, uh, sa ating kasama na si Ryan Dapedran. Yan, kasama natin dito sa MPBL. Papakain ba siya? Ah, Papakain ba? Pwedeng magparinig tayo dito, Coach oh, Putit, pagdating natin mamaya. Huwag magpapakain. Pwede magpapakain. Pwede magpapakain. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ryan. Happy birthday. Pinabati natin also, team manager ng Bataan Risers. Ayan, nandyan si Borgie Hermida na nanonood ngayon. Coach, thank you so much for tuning in. And Cebu pushing it. Pushing the pace here against Manila. I think lahat ng powerhouse team sa MPBL is watching this game because they're very interested how really itong Manila Stars will uh, respond to the challenge of uh, Cebu Sharks. That's right. Pero, budding problem here for Manila. Third foul for Chris Piton. So that's, you know, an opening. That's something Cebu can take advantage on. Again, itong first half, di ba? Yung Manila Stars were giving also Cebu a lot of free throw attempts. Yeah. So they can capitalize on that itong second half. Jarek Fortuna, papasok. Papasok. May dalawang foul pa yan bago graduate. Oh. Eh. Kailangan maubos niya. Sayang naman binyayin niya. So, tig-tatlo sila ni Chris Bitoon. Tinawid niya yung bola. Dionisio couldn't handle it. Sino tumapik ng bola para ma-outside ni Dionisio? Macaloni Jr. Our guy, my guy, Macaloni Jr. Getting a hand on it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Nine-point lead. Ang inahabol ng Cebu. Pumresyo na rin dito ang Manila. Senita. Catching it, Senita zigzagging, bouncing it to Macaloni. Good fake, Macaloni puts it in. Wow, I think that's how that's Senita. Ginawang kons yung pressure defense dito ng Manila, and then making the right pass to a deserving Macaloni Jr. Seven point lead. And alang ang inahabol dito ng Cebu. Pat Gian Abrigo will choose to attack and create para dito sa Manila Stars. Foul against Patrick Cabahog. Pangalawa galing sa kanya. Ito yung uh, galaw kanina. Coast to coast. Pasa. Macaloni making two defenders commit before taking that shot. Pero mula pa si Kunay kay Macaloni Jr. Ang galing niyang pumampik sa ilalim. No? Talagang lumilipad lahat ng defenders. And then he knows how to finish after right. that fake na may contact. Pasang-pasa na niya. Kabisado na niya yun. Oh, Abrigo. Skying high for that rebound. Oh, and it is Nunez snatching it away. Ubalde, no finish. Ubalde gets it back. Ubalde off the glass, too strong. Donisio gets the rebound. And a jump ball here. Possession arrow. It will go to Cebu. So, kanina si Senita leading the charge. Then ito si Nunez at si Ubalde, no? nakikisabayan na. So, nagising na ang backcourt na. ng Cebu Sharks. Adrian Lau, papasok sa ating laro. Replacing Rafi Octubre, who started the second half as well. Kabahog, ball tapped out. White shirts will still have it. 5 and 51 remaining here in the third quarter. Ito yung opening na kailangan nila. Para humabol sa ating laro, Patrick Cabahog. Backing down on Abrigo. Cabahog, fade away is good. Sa kapilang kanto naman. Nasusiyan si Patrick Cabahog because that's a challenge eh. And the great players, when faced with challenges, talagang they rise to that occasion. Don't look now. It's just a five-point lead for Manila. And Cebu gets it back. Ubalde is on the move. Ubalde, denied up top by Aris Dionisio. Lastimosa. Lastimosa gets the hoop on the other end. Such a crucial possession. First, uh, itong defensive possession ni Dionisio. And then, itong uh, atake ni Carl Lastimosa. At least, no, kahit paano napatay yung momentum doon ng uh, Cebu. Defense to offense action coming from the Manila Stars. And Jeric Fortuna. Pang-apat na fahal dito kay Jeric Fortuna. Look at the rejection right there for Dionisio that started. The break for Manila and Carlo Lastimosa scoring his seventh point 
of the ball game all coming here in the third quarter. They're responding the way uh, a dominating team should respond. Pero no, we can't just help but uh, cheer for the Cebu Sharks. No? Very admirable. Yeah. Yeah. We'd like to uh, cheer for the underdogs. <laughs> and of course, dito ang underdogs in Cebu. But Manila Stars, this is their home court. They yeah. have to really defend it. Ito ang bungat kay Jeric Fortuna to, no? Four fouls in his MPBL debut. Ubalde from mid-range. It's good. And uh, Ubalde, no? Okay, unfazed pa rin, eh. Though Manila is making that run, unfazed pa rin itong mga Cebu players. Right. And nakuha na nila yung kanilang kumpiyansa dito sa third quarter. Cholo go. Oh, aatakihin. Goes around Ubalde. Couldn't make the floater, though. Nunez grabs the rebound. Cebu pushing it. Good feed, Ubalde. No good off the glass. Abrigo snatching it away from two white shirts. Gian Abrigo flips it up. And we have a foul here called against the Cebu Sharks. A lucky break down for Abrigo, no? Mukhang wala nang foul. Wala nang pupunta si Abrigo. Patraveling na. Uh, so game officials natin na papito ng, uh, ng foul. So are those two free throws na? Dahil parang patake naman si Abrigo doon, eh, di ba? Yeah. Two free throws nga si John Abrigo. So, yun ang ibibigay dito. Yung Abrigo, nadala na siguro nung kanyang uh, momentum kanina. Dinere-derecho na niya. Luckily for him, he got the personal foul against uh, Cebu. And they have a chance here to extend the lead once more. In and out on the first free throw. Five points and eight rebounds. Ano? Tapos... Ang remarkable doon is hindi pa ganun kadaming minuto yung linalaro yeah. niya. Sa lalim ba naman ng bench ng Manila Stars, he still manages to get 5 points and 8 rebounds. Yun yung sinasabi mo kanina, Coach Putit, na mga manlalaro na hindi nila kailangan ng bola para kunin yung kanilang mga numero sa laro. Last night, that oh, oh, got the ball back and put it back in. Oh, hindi, you can't, hindi pwede hindi mo gustuin to si Abrigo sa pinaggagawa niya sa laro. Eh. Grabe. Wow. Game-changing plays being done here by uh, Gian Abrigo. Paul dito kay Aris Dionisio, pangatlo niya. Oh, si, yung coach, si coach, uh, si coach, coach Manalili, uh, no? Manalili. Naiinis sa mga players siya bilang, kasi yung free throw shooter ang nakaka-rebound. Yeah. And then nako-convert pa kagad. That's the first guy you should cover. But he's one of the guys you should cover. <laughs> Easier you're said than that. Out. Oh, that's true. Well, <laughs> John Abrigo. Oh, okay. Tatalunan ka lang mula sa likod eh. Coronel missing on the first free throw. 4.09 remaining here in our third quarter. Let's see the scoring here for Cebu. 11 to 9. Lamang sila sa scoring sa third quarter natin. Oh, nakakatawa pa pala yung coaching staff doon okay. ng Cebu. Akala ko talagang... Bewildered na siya. Pero nakakangiti pa. Okay, good. So, saya sila actually sa effort na to. Eh, no? Kasi lahat na kinalaban ng Manila, tambakan na ng 20 and plus. Eh, oh, but AJ Coronel. Oh, out of two. Patig. Ayan. Patig uh, kaya. Patig na kaya ito. Uh, dahil napapagod na rin sila. Oo. Oh, Nakakasabay oh. dito sa mga manlalaro ng uh, Manila. Of course, they have been relentless, especially defensively. Nakakapagod yung ganyang effort na todo-todo all throughout kasi nagpapalitan pa ng players yeah. tong uh, Manila Stars so always fresh din sila eh. Abrigo Ubalde giving up the foul there Abrigo nagawa ng paraan para maitira pa rin niya yun hindi na rin alam ni Ubalde yung gagawin niya nung nakita niya na, na realize niya na napuesto na siya ni Abrigo sa ilalim ang lapad ng katawan taas tumalon so at his mercy na itong si Ubalde. Ay, si Abrigo against Ubalde. And what a debut here for Gian Abrigo for the Manila Stars. Eight points, nine rebounds. At talagang leaving his mark on the floor. Actually, figuratively and literally yan, yeah. grabe dumayb ng loose ball to eh. One of the most active guys on the floor here. AJ Coronel is down and... Parang galit na galit na yung calf niya. Oh. Parang... Ano ba yun? Uh, uh, 
Adrian Lawang natawagan ng foul against Cebu. Ubalde, uupo muna. Pulikat nga, oh. Oo. Uh -huh. Oh, hindi. Pinagpag, sumalawang pan. Tapis ko. Ganado niyo. Oh! oh! That was a left ankle, AJ Coronel. Napawa ko sa paa ko rin, ah. Medyo... Malayo yung pagkaka-fold no, nung... Uh, itong ankle ni AJ Coronel. Limping it. Or limping out, going to the bench here. Pero always, oh, makakahinga ka ng malalim because nakita mo na naibalik niya kagad nung natapilok siya. Eh, yeah. Which is a good sign. And he can stand on his own. Cholo go for three. Off to the left. Cabahog surveys. Goes to Cortez instead. Cortez, libre si Veloria. For three. No good. And ball goes back to Manila. You know, those open looks... You gotta take advantage of those if you're Cebu. Sobrang libre si Veloria, kaya parang kaya nag-hesitate na talaga siya. Usually, pag nag-hesitate ang shooter, malaki chance ay hindi siya shoot yun. Marvin Hayes, baseline move, Hayes. Hindi gagana against Adrian Lau. Eto si Cortez. Lau mula sa gitna, puts it on the floor. Lau, no good. Rebound to Macaloni. Inagaw ni Dionisio. Eto si Marvin Lee. Balik kay Dionisio. Dionisio on the move. No! And this is Cortez with the rebound. Kabahog on the move. Kabahog, nagahanap ng kakampi. Viloria, aatake. Feeding it to Adrian Lau na sinalubong. Ito ni Aris Junisio. And if it's on Junisio, let's see. Pangkila na to. O, Jologo ang tatawagan dito. First personal against Jologo. Pero may sagot ang Cebu sa mga ginagawa rin ng Manila Stars na run. Ano? And then Cebu doing enough. Again, putting themselves in a position na pagdating sa endgame, baka makaisa sila rito yeah. sa Manila. Uh -huh. Ina importante ngayon for Coach Manalili. Six points, uh, two rebounds for Adrian Lau so far. Free throw rims out after making his first two in this ballgame. Parang ang hirap maglaro. May, mahirap itong pinagdadaanan ng mga big men ng Cebu. Dahil yeah. nag-iikutan lang sa big man position. Makaloni... Ito si Lau, and then Oktubre. Yeah. Tatlo lang. Sila against... Ang dami. Ang dami, oo. Pero Marvin Hayes, Abrigo, Dionisio, Matias, Mark Dyke, <laughs> Nandiyan pa, Marvy Bringas. Mga bruisers pa yun. Oh. So, alam mo yung pagod mo ngayon, kakabangga. Tapos, biglang yung kapalit na babangga rin sa'yo. Fresh na fresh. <laughs> Marvin Lee at the free throw line. Tapos yung kabanggaan mo, no? nakita mo sa base, nagtatawanan na lang. Uh, Ikaw, pagod na pagod na sa loob. Alalim itong Manila Stars na team. But you gotta give it to, you know, the bruisers also of Cebu for not giving up again. Giving it their 100% here. Eloy Poligrates, matagal-tagal natin hindi nakita dito, coach. Actually, alam mo, si Poligrates, parang tigil na tigil sa paglalaro yeah. niya. I don't know, parang siguro pinapakita niyang reform na siya. Pero alam mo yun, kung uh, meron kang stallion, ikaw nga, kailangan pakawalan mo eh. Uh -huh. But yes, the stars are on the move. They're up by 10 again. Looking to restore order in this ballgame. Marvin Lee. Hayes against Abrigo. Matias, good find. Marvin Hayes finishes underneath. Ito yung... Uh, Ito yung advantage of having really good coaches also. No? Kita mo yung mga plays, no? well thought of, very effective plays for the Manila Stars. Yeah. Credit that the, uh, to the consultant also, Coach Ariel Vanguardia and to Tino Pinat. Mm -hmm. So, Lago ang natawagan dito ng foul. Uh, a minute and 52 left in the third quarter. So, si Cortez ang pupunta sa ating free throw line para sa dalawang tira. Making the first one. And again, naibaba ng Cebu kanina sa limang puntos ang uh, lamang ng Manila. Pero parang nandun na yung barrier. Coach Putit. Parang hindi sila makalampas dun. Uh, hindi sila makakatok sa four points, two points. Hirap eh. Ang bigat talaga kalaban tong Manila Stars. Jologo, nagpakawala. Ball went over the back. So, Cebu will have it. 
Pero na, nabalikan ko yung halftime rep, yung halftime interview ni Sheila, no? Yung sa team manager ng uh, team owner ah. actually ng uh, Manila Stars. Hindi pa daw kumpleto yung lineup. Ay, Sino ay, pa? Ang <laughs> <laughs> okay, si Mark Kagiwa pa yan, hindi natin alam. <laughs> Abangan natin yan. Teloria. Lau from the middle puts it up in end. Still sticking itong Cebu, no? Makulit talaga eh. Single digit advantage na lang. Ulit. Ang kanilang inahabol, Matias, natawagan ng foul. So, Adrian Lau pupunta sa ating free throw line. Para kumpletuhin ang three-point play. Potential na ibaba ang lamang sa pitong puntos dito. Pero pumapasok din, ano? Yung ginagawa ng Cebu right now, pumapasok din, nakakagulo rin to sa psyche ng Manila Stars. Like, parang, ano ba itong mga to? Ang kukulit, ayaw bumitaw. Yeah. No, so, it takes away a little of the confidence or the swag that they have itong Manila Stars because of what uh, Cebu is doing. They're very defiant. That's very true. Coach Butet. Abrigo. Again, attacking and getting the foul in the process. Eh, ito si Abrigo. Wala namang kinikilalang kalaban to. O anong effort ng kalaban. Wala. Basta siya yung effort niya ang importante. Mark Tight enters the ball game. Para dito kay Marvin Hayes. Uh, Macaloni. Papalitan ni Rafi Octubre. Alawang tira para dito kay Gian Abrigo. <laughs> Imagine mo habang nagtatrabaho si Abrigo, tapos si Matias, uh. nagpapahinga naman, Dionisio, uh. RB Bringas. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Pwede yata bumutong Manila Stars ng isa pang team, ano, na magiging competitive pa rin dito sa season na to. No? Yung, yung second unit nila, Coach, pwedeng pang starting lineup sa ibang team talaga. Hey, I'm try, I, right now, I'm just trying to figure, uh, to remember or recall, Sino pa sa mga teams natin itong season na to ang napakalalim, ano? Yeah, yeah, kalalim. Like, could rival itong Manila Stars. And I could think of what? San Juan Knights, Pampanga, Giant Lanterns. Right. Or even. Exactly, no? The retooled lineup, po. Oh. Got a turnover here against Cebu. Actually, pasimple lang din, ha? Pero the QC Capitals team ngayon. Yeah. Very retooled, pero ang ganda ng mga additions din nila. Yeah, maganda yung... Uh, Tsaka yung tinatakbo din nila dun sa QC Capitals, much improved. And that's why they, you know, they started off strong here in the season. Challenge Manila even uh, in their game here. Munti ka na nilang madali yung Manila dun. Kung hindi lang dun sa game-winning block ni Aris Dionisio to deny PJ Barua in the end game. Oh, the block. Yeah, the block. And then we can also add itong Davao Occidental Tigers. No? Then, yeah. uh, dinagdag nila si Ivan Ludovici at si Mokon. Ang galing talaga. Ang ganda nang na, naibibigay ng dalawang guardiang yon Nakatulong kay Bonbon Custodio and company. Huwag natin kalimutan yung Bataan Risers din. Ayan. Grabe. I mean, Stack this would be team. exciting season. Bala! Yeah. fires. Too strong. Ball tapped. Abrigo. Pero niya... That one. Traveling ang tinawag dito. But you got to give it to the Cebu Sharks. Lumalaban talaga eh. I yeah. mean, si Abrigo na offensive rebound. Pero nandun pa rin sila. They're not giving up on uh, taking away any easy shots for anyone. Coach, this is just a nine-point lead for Manila. So, Cebu has successfully prevented that, you know. Yung blowout, ano? Oh, uh, blowout dito. The breakaway dito sa third quarter ng Manila Stars. But can they get closer? That's a big question mark here. Astimosa, seven points here in the third. Pinigay kay Matias, wala nga lang yung tira. Sorry, miss, underneath for Roni Matias. Pero, siya naman yung uh, dumipensa dito kay Cortez para i-force yung turnover na yun. Oh, inilang ni Matias itong si Cortez kaya nawala yung bola. A good break sana for Cebu na namintis ni Matias yung point blank. Yeah. Pero wala, break then going back to Manila. With that turnover ni Cortez. At opportunity para sa Manila to finish strong in this one. Carlo Lastimosa, founded by Nunez. Oh, ball tap, Cortez gets it back for Cebu. Kabahog, open for three. Kabahog knocks it down. <laughs> Patrick Kabahog really answering the challenge dito ng Manila Stars. Oh, oh. Kuntikan pa. Oh, oh. That one hit the front of the rim. 
yung heave na yon. But what an end to the third quarter. Let's take a look at that again. Patrick Cabahu, calm and composed, taking the three-point shot, put it in. And he is able to cut the lead down to six. Our score at the end of the third, 59 to 53. Tignan natin yung mga highlights dito. A big quarter para sa Cebu Sharks, Coach Putin. Titignan natin itong quarter. No? We're in ito, pinakita nila yung defiance nila. Ah, itong Cebu Sharks. And really, getting, taking in step, ano? Itong yeah. Patrick Cabahog led the charge to start the third quarter. And then again, Macaloni. Ito si Adrian Lau, ito si Oktobre doing the dirty job inside yeah. preventing any major runs by the Manila Stars. Tignan natin kung ano yung magiging tema ng ating fourth quarter sa ating pabalik dito sa SNA, ang MPBL Lacan Season. To the ball game here. Ito sa San Andres Sports Complex sa Malate, Manila para sa pagpapatuloy ng ating coverage of the MPB Alacan season. Ito ang liga ng bawat Pilipino. Tignan muna natin ang mga numero ng ating marquee matchup. Patrick Cabahog versus Carlo Lastimosa. Scorer versus scorer. 13 para kay Cabahog. 7 para kay Lastimosa. Well, Patrick Cabahog, really yung mga yung mga timing ng mga sinushoot niya. No? Really capping off major runs for the Cebu Sharks. Yeah. And Carly Lastimosa, lahat ng 7 points na yun ang galing sa 3rd quarter. Ito si Kabahog, nakapuhunan ng ating uh, first half. So, tignan natin kung ano magiging tema sa ating 4th quarter. Manila Stars and the Cebu Sharks going head-to-head -head here in our final game today. Day 16 of your MPBL Lacan season. Marvin Lee magsisimula alongside Carlo Lastimosa, Gian Abrigo, Mark Dyke, and Ronnie Matias. Mark Dyke Nakagawa ni Oktubre para naman sa Cebu. Nandito si Zenita, Oktubre, Nunez, Adrian Lau, and Patrick Cabahog. Cabahog, step back jumper, pinilit. Will not get the bounce. And while we go back to the Manila Stars. Mas makakatulong din sa cost ng Cebu and for Patrick Cabahog. If he runs some place na he using screens. Yeah. Kasi si Abrigo kung one-on-one -on -one lang, mahirapan ka kasi mabigat, tapos mahasel, So, mahirapan ka straight up one-on-one. -on -one. Pero padani mo sa screens, uh, malaking tulong yun for Patrick Abahog. Marvin Lee missing on the floater. Foul against Rafi Oktubre. Hindi kasi, pumito na yung referees. Okay. E si Rory Machas, titira pa rin. Mm. E eh, di ba bantayan ba ni <laughs> Oktubre? Baka mamaya mag-foul counted pa. Ah. Kasalanan pa niya, di ba? Tama. <laughs> okay, yun lang. Ako sinasabi ko sa mga players ko. Until the referees really physically stop you, walang pito, tuloy mo lang. Depensa o opensa ka, tuloy mo yun. Dahil malay mo, because of that, uh, di, ka, di ka kumilos, baka yung paikatalo mo. So, a quick stoppage here as they verify the call. Ito na ang ating uh, official to inform our uh, Coliseum announcer of the official call. 9 and 20. Nearly 40 seconds. Eclipsing here in the fourth quarter. Ay, maganda yung aksyonan natin ngayon. Bells on number 11, Rafi Octobre. That's his second. Warning on number 11, Rafi Octobre for second motion. So, Rafi Octobre natawagan ng foul at natawagan ng warning. Ayan. Matias. Well, ano, for me lang, I don't see na may maling nagawa si Octobre. It was not actually a foul to harm anyone. It was yeah. really a foul to stop any made shot. Malay mo bilang magtawagan ng referee, N1, patay. Mm. Yeah, mahirap yung ganun eh. Pinigilan lang talaga niya, yeah. coach. Kat katulad kanina, di ba, sa game kay earlier, pali up na, pumito na, and lumay up. Di, Paul, yun mo, kunin mo pa rin yung bola. Baka mo maya maging N1 pa opportunity for the opponents. That's right. Mark Dyke here, backing down against Adrian Lau. 
That's a foul from behind against Lau. Oh, I always just tell the players, no? Don't give the the game officials any room na matawagan ka. So, baka alanganin yung pwesto ng kamay mo. Kaya pwede ka talagang tawagan ng foul. Right. Uh -huh. Ito, early fouls to in the fourth quarter, Coach Putit. Marvin Lee. Short. Rebound. Post to Nunez. Nunez. Ooh, passing it to the wrong guy. Picked up by Abrigo. Lastimosa to the cup. Yan ang paborito ni Carlos Timosa in transition. No? Diyan siya talaga nagpapakawala sa basketball. Lastimosa here working against Nunez. Nunez, may tanga ng bola ngayon. Binigay kay Kabahog. Off the screen, Kabahog drops it in. Exactly what we wanted. Ano? Ito si Patrick Kabahog coming off screens. Kasi mahirap bantayan. Mahirap makawala kay Abrigo yeah. kung walang screens. That time they ran a play for him and it uh, resulted to a basket for Cebu. 61-55. Tinaka uh, Amuya doon si Abrigo at si Matias. Jologo, papasok para kay Marvin Lee. Hey, Abrigo, for everything he's done very well sa basketball, right. hindi yan point guard eh. So hindi yan magaling pumasa. So if there's one weakness para kay Abrigo, pressure in mo kung gusto niyang pumasa yeah. poste eh, para sumama yung pasa. The Rams are over there for the Manila Stars. So, Pito and Papasok na. Kalahin mo? Ngayon lang pumasok oh, ulit to. Eh. Matagal-tagal nagpahinga to si Chris Pito. Leading scorer natin sa first half, 11 points. Sabay ngayon, Papasok, pahingang-pahinga to finish this game off. Wow. What a luxury here for the Manila Stars. Senita. Senita. Senita oh! to the cup! Wow! Coast to coast! Umeere pala yung si Senita lang gano'n. Amazing play already. By Sinita, but even a great uh, quarterbacking dito, no? Buong laro si Sinita. Coach, big development here. And sportsman-like foul ang ginawag dito. Ito yung post-to-post -post kanina ni Sinita. Ganda tingnan sa slow mo, no? Pag gawing poster. Ang time, wala dito kay uh, Sinita. Interesting, ah, kung ano yung nangyari kay Bito oh, oh. doon, ano? Ang initial na itinawag yung senyas on sportsman like foul. But of course they're going to verify this one. And Chris well he disagrees with the call. So let's see. Yung arm niya kasi nag-motion na parang uh, kinalabog sa dibdib ah, okay. si Senita. So, nagmukhang swing. Uh, Oo, oh, nagmukhang swing. Number 27, Chris Pitoon. So the call will stay. That's his fourth personal foul. Oh, double whammy pa yan para kay Chris Pitoon. Pang-apat na foul on sportsman like pa. Dionisio, papasok para kay Abrigo. Nunez at the free throw line. Two free throws plus possession sa nagahabol na si Sharks. Ito na yung run na yun. Yeah. Four point lead lang yan, no? To get over the hump. Nunez drops in the first. Malaki yan. For the first time in a long time, dito sa ating laro, Coach Putit, we are separated by a single possession. Hindi ko binati yan. <laughs> Pero kanina pinag-usapan natin, hindi makakatok be uh, lower than four points. Yeah. So at least now, nasa three points na, no? So what would cap this off is... A three-point shot, right. no? Or a two-point shot, I don't know. But I think it's going to be Patrick Cabajo. Senita, may tangan. Napasa ni Jologo. Bola pa rin ang Cebu. 11 seconds to work with. Puntahan ko si Patrick Cabajo kasi ang bumabantay si Carlos Timosa. Yeah. And he's really not known for his uh, excellent defense. Right. Oo. Kanina si Abrigo yung dumidikit. Ngayon, Patrick Cabajo can take advantage of this situation. Nunez to inbound. Pinigay agad kay Cabajo. Up against Lastimosa. Cabajo fires over Lastimosa and knocks it down. That is for the tie. Patrick Cabajo with the three-pointer. Hindi lang triple header dito. No? On QD. No? Talagang <laughs> 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 pagkatapos. <laughs> yun yung nangyayari. Pwede <laughs> tayong maghula. Dito on Mintes. Lastimosa floater. Patagilid. Dionisio. Oh, what set up it in? Counted plus the foul for Aris Tunisia. 
may free throw pa nakasama. I can't keep Alice Donisio down lang. Yun lang yun. At the mercy of Donisio, ito si Oktubre sa play na yun. What a way to put out the fire. Lastimosa Mintes, Donisio. With a rebound, the put back, it's good. Dalawang bad shots na yung tinira ng Manila Stars. Eh. Cebu was already poised to make that, uh, that run. Pero ito si Aris Donisio, no? refusing na magtalo sa possession na yun. Hasn't done much in this ballgame itong si Donisio. 7 points, 8 rebounds, not his usual numbers. Pero grabe yung impact niya dito sa ating endgame as we go courtside again with Sheila Salaysay. Sheila? Yes, uh, simple reminders from assistant coach Jonas Quintana. Run the play, play smart basketball at mag-usap sa loob. Kailangan maging solid pa sa depensa para maibaba pa ang kalamangan. Malik sa inyo. Maraming salamat, Sheila. Well, this is a three-point ball game. I think Cebu is, uh, well, has done a great job here in the fourth quarter. They had a big third. They're gunning for a bigger fourth quarter here. Naitabla nila kanina, ngayon baba sila ng tatlong puntos at may tinawag kontra Manila. Yeah, very amusing lang, no? dahil coaches ng Manila Stars. Far from that side. No? Umaangal sa tinawag ng referee na napakalayo sa kabilang kanto. Parang nakita nila lahat. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> e, Siyempre, mas malapit yung mga opisyalis natin. Oh, may mga technical pa sila, di na double whammy nga. Ika. Alright, that's uh, the second infraction called against the Manila bench this time. So, pinigay yung uh, free throw, hindi nga lang pumasok. 64-61 still is the count. Kabahog, dinidikitan nila Stimosa. Kabahog, short on the jumper. Kabahog, saving it to the wrong guy. Here is Carlo Lastimosa. Ooh, nabitawan ang bola. So, may pag-asa pa talaga itong Cebu. Wow. Woo. 6 and 55 ang nalalabi dito. This is how you end the triple header. May ganit right. lang klaseng laro. Topping off the night with this fantastic game between Cebu and Manila. Ito si Rafi Octubre. Senita. Botoon. Falling down. Octubre. Finding Lau. Lau! Finishing underneath! Now it's October and Adrian Lau. No? Tumutulo ngayon. Sige, Makaloni, pahinga ka muna. Kami muna rito. Lead is down to one. For the Manila Stars, Chris Bitoon. Bitoon calling for it. Bitoon steps into a three. Doesn't get it. Here comes Cebu with a chance to take the lead. For the first time. Since the first quarter, Patrick Kabahog. Kabahog step back three. Wala. He checked number two for Patrick. Sayang, dal. They're poised to take the lead. Lastimosa. Wala rin sa kabila. Lau with the board. Ito si Senita. Senita will slow down the pace here for the Cebu Sharks. Nunez. Crowd chanting defense here inside the San Andres Sports Complex. Senita to the go! Oh, wow! And Cebu takes the lead for the first time since the first quarter. Our count is 65 to 64. Things just got a little bit more interesting dito sa ating third game, Coach Putin. Who better to uh, make this run uh, possible? Ito si Senita, who has really done a great job quarterbacking itong Cebu into this ball game. Scoop and the hoop off the blow by for Sinita to give the Cebu Sharks the one point lead, 65, 64. Back to our ball game. At uh, Patrick Kabahog, only guy in double figures against Marikina. And he's still the go-to guy here. Kabahog so far with 18 points in our ball game. 
Ito yung atres kanina na panapos sa third quarter natin. That was to cut the lead down to six. Four out of ten from three-point range itong si Patrick. Coach po din. That's a high percentage yan eh, na 40%. Above average. But uh, again, yung puntos eh, yung timing ng mga puntos niya. And then he got carried away na karoon siya ng heat check. But now, at least, what is a... Uh, working well for Cebu are the plays. No? May mga set plays sila. Now, nagiging efficient yung offense nila. Again, Cebu, this is their first taste of the lead ever since the first quarter. Uhuli nilang lamang 5 and 53. Or 5 and 16 nung ating uh, third qu uh, first quarter when it was 10 to 9. Yun yung score natin. So a foul here against Macaloni. Alice Dionisio went to work right away for Manila. <laughs> But I'm, just, I'm in awe of what's happening no, for yeah. Cebu. I mean, ang lakas lang kasi ng Manila. No? Hindi mo iisipin na this would happen at this point. A five-minute mark ng fourth quarter. And Dionisio misses the first free throw. So they might need the scoring now of Alice Dionisio to close this one out if you're Manila. Tight ball game here. You're right, Coach Putit. Lumalayo na kanina itong Manila Stars, but Cebu just, you know, they were just relentless, especially on the defensive end. And found ways dito sa kanilang opensa para maka-score. Macaloni Jr. with a bucket. And who made that pass, that shot possible? Adrian Lau, no, passing at the last second. Alam mo, point guard siya ng position ay yung uh, pagkakataon yan. Wow, Cebu showing us the composer here in the fourth quarter. Lastimosa. Pinabantayan ni Senita. Jonisio for three. Short. Rebound goes to Dyke. Back out to Lastimosa. A fresh 14. Lastimosa on the blow by. But the contact. Abrigo with the offensive rebound. We have a foul here on the rebound play. That will be against the Sharks. Eh, kung nagtataka kayo, bakit parang hindi tinatawagan si Sinita, no? Doon sa on-the-ball defense ni Carlo Lastimosa. Yeah. Because, because Carlo Lastimosa was the one also initiating yung pagtama para ma mabenta yung tawag. So, ina-animate pa niya yung paghawak niya sa kamay ni Sinita rin. So, linilet ko na lang ng referee kasi ayaw rin ng game officials na ang mag-decide ng game is yung tawag nila. That's right. So they're letting them play. Most crucial stretch of our ball game here. Abrigo. Ooh, that one bouncing out. I mean, test of nerves for Manila because this is the first time they've been put in this position. Eh, right. season na to. So Gian Abrigo to the free throw line. Second free throw. 10 points, 12 boards in his uh, first game with Manila. All out of two on that trip. But Marvin Ace. Just snatching the rebound to get to the second opportunity. Lastimosa up against Nunez. Lastimosa. Birgeke Hayes, Hayes spinning. Hayes runs into trouble. Shot clock violation against the Stars. Wow. And Cebu will get it back. Ang ganda ng depensa ng mga guardia against the penetrations of Lastimosa. And then Macaloni doing an excellent job of uh, defending the penetration right. to ni Abrigo and ni Marvin Hayes. Heck of a ball game we're having here, Coach Putit. Ang atuwa, no? Na we're, we're witnessing such a great game. Yeah. Senita. Going to Macaloni. Adrian Lau, covered by Hayes. They go to Nunez here. Approaching four minutes left in the ball game. Nunez finding a way, spinning. Pero naagaw ni Dionisio. Medyo out of control si Nunez sa, larong, uh, sa possession na yun. Sayang. Dionisio forcing it, doing it post to post to the cup. Aris Dionisio gets the bucket and a foul. Aris Dionisio, it's take over time for this man. And why not? He is the bona fide leader of this team. Aris Dionisio picking up his scoring here in the fourth quarter. And has a chance to bring back Manila. What the uh, lead? What Aris Dunisio has uh, done very well, no? Yung inimprove niya from season to season is the ability to dribble, yeah. no? In traffic like a guard and finish na may mga bali pa. 
and he is a walking mismatch, especially against you know the big guys here in the MPBL. Tunisia completes it and gives them the one point lead. Well, one rebound away na lang ito si Arlis Tunisia for a double double. He's at 11 points and nine rebounds. Oh, Nunez or Sinita rather. Palikay Sinita dito. Kabahu got the screen. Kabahu go open. Look and knocks it down. Nagkamali si Abrigo doon na umander sa screen. Kaya binasa ni Patrick Kabahu. Fumler far away from Abrigo. It is back with Cebu. 70 to 68. Dionisio. Na naman. Oh, hindi kumana yung pabanda. Macaloni securing the board. And the Cebu Sharks will go for a safer cushion. Tumong pasigo. Now, forcing it. Naagaw on the help by Go. Here comes Lastimosa. Sinalubong ni Macaloni. Mintes ang layup. Nakuha ni Abrigo. Gian Abrigo. Oh, pasang-pasa ni Viloria. A steal by Cebu. Kabahog will break away for the layup. Wow. What a turn of events. No, napakaganda ng uh, ginagawa for both teams. But Cebu right now doing more. Now to... Uh, Maybe steal one dito sa yeah. home court ng Manila. Let's see and find out. They are being treated to a fantastic game. Latest bucket mula dito kay Patrick Kabahog. And the stare down right after off the breakaway layup. Four point lead for the Sharks. Balik tayo sa ating laro. Alright. Trivia here mula sa ating uh, panel statistician na si J.R. Apostol. Dalawa lang ang nakatalo sa Manila. Dito sa kanilang home court sa San Andres Sports Complex. Yan ay ang Navotas. At yan, Navotas Clutch. At yan ang uh, defending champions na San Juan Knights. So, two teams. Cebu trying to be the third one tonight. Will be a big feat, no? Paglagawa right. ng si Bunga with the retooled and the really a much improved lineup dito for uh, the Manila Stars. Nakakakuha ba tayo ng uh, second quote on toot? Upset of the week. Dahil yung Bataan Valenzuela. Malaking laro rin dito yan sa MPB. Ala, Cortez! Deflecting that one out. Well, right now, pinasok si Cortez for Sinita para si Sinita makapagpahinga kahit ilang mga isang minuto o ilang segundo. Pero si Cortez ang pinasok. So, able defender. Right. And steady there at the point guard position as well. Abrigo moving closer. Hand time move. Abrigo approaches and scores. I don't know. Tingin ko nagkamali si Kabahog ng basa. Si Abrigo yung nakatanggap sa three points. Hindi mo na kailangan puntahan yun eh. So, Abrigo recognizing that situation perfectly and scoring the big bucket to cut the lead down to two they go to their best scorer Kabahu hounded by Hayes Hayes with playing or playing good defense right there against Kabahu as Kabahu nakita niya nang ganun si bumabantay si Marvin Hayes hindi niya na dapat hinanap yung fade away muna so may time out tayo dito dalawa ang abante ng Cebu Sayaw yung ating uh, Cebu Sharks mascot. Bakit nga naman hindi? Dahil lamang ang uh, kanyang kupunan ng dalawang puntos dito, 72 to 70. And you know, in 
it's been the stellar play on both ends of the floor propelling the Cebu Sharks attack it's uh, such a ano lang, tragedy na may uuwing talunan, may uuwing mananalo. I mean, we've been treated with such a great basketball right. from Manila Stars and Jacep Bouchard. No? Ang ganda ng basketball game na to. Ayan. Kapahog off the inbound. Mahirap yan! Oh! Oh! Pinasok ni Patrick Kapahog! <laughs> wow! Parang nasa college na naman to si Patrick Kapahog na walang uh, tirang hindi magmintis eh. Wow! Four-point lead! Wow. Last two minutes, Dionisio puts it up in here. Uh, that was already good defense uh, on the part of Macaloni, pero napakagaling ng talaga ng offensive rito ni uh, Aris Dionisio. Wow. So we trade baskets here in this ballgame. Adrian Lau hounded. Sa ang magtatawid, maitatawid ni Lau, pinuntahan si Viloria. Cortez will set it up here. Si Dionisio na ang kumuha kay Kabahog. Kabahog, ball tapped out, and they will review it. Ako, babalik ako doon sa set plays nila kanina, which really worked well for them, especially yeah. for Patrick Kabahog. Bigla ngayon, magi hero ball siya against ngayon, Aris Donisio. Medyo mali, malitan chance niya makashoot yan. They, they were, oh kanina, binibigyan nila ng screen of the ball itong si Patrick Kabahog. So I wonder why they're not coming back to that. 74-72 though. Or isan yung ano na lang yung 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 essence kasi nung laro yung ah. momentum. Nadadala na. Oh, yung excitement, yeah. no? lahat na eh. Kulang na lang ako pumunta na ako sa court, magtatatakbo <laughs> na rin ako eh. Ganda nung laro, grabe. Pero kailan matapos to? Eh. Hindi pwedeng hindi, eh. ah, ah. lang eh. <laughs> Yun saka, lang. Oo. Oh. Saka kung pwedeng matapos na ng fourth quarter, no? wala nang overtime. <laughs> Pinabati natin eh. Well, tignan no. natin. On cue? On cue ulit. <laughs> Nako. Nako. No. Sige lang. Enjoy natin ito. Parang tagal Ayan. ng pagkikitingin ng referees. No? Well, they're just trying really to make sure yeah. that they make the right call. This is a crucial uh, call. If it's Manila ball, a chance to tie. If it's Cebu ball, a chance to extend the lead. Yeah. With 1 minute and 37 seconds left, ang tagal pa rin yan. May chance pa rin ng Manilang yeah. makabalik rito, makatay, makalamang, kahit makashoot pa si Bullet. The 2-0 Manila Stars. Well, facing a strange situation here against the Cebu Sharks. At home pa. At home, oh. Ooh, so it's going to be ball stays, ready, Cebu, Cebu Basketball. Oh. Sa angle naman natin, it really looked like uh, natapping talaga ng player ng Manila. Alright. Ito yung uh, tapik kanina ni Dionisio. Oh yes, very clear it was Dionisio who tapped it out. So five seconds on the clock here for the Sharks. Ang uh, magi inbound si Nunez. Binigay kay Kabahog. Kabahog, hounded by Dionisio. Naagawa ni Dionisio. Here's Aris on the move. Aris on the way to the hoop. Wow! Wow! Tight ball game. Yun yung ayaw mo mangyari for Cebu. No, Dionisio! Dionisio, now you paid for it. Great, great defensive uh, move there by Dionisio. Nabuhayan ang mga maliyan nyo. Nunez. Nunez! No! Nunez with a brave drive! Wow! What made that play great was Nunez shot over Abrigo yes. and Donisio. Wow! That was probably the most unexpected move of the night. Tanggaling kay Nunez. Balik ang Avante sa Cebu. 76-74. Abrigo. Pito on. Pito on. High up the glass. Masyadong malakas. Dionisio getting fouled on that putback attempt. He will head to the line for a couple of shots. And, well, the crowd getting involved in this ball game. Every possession, you know, talagang breathtaking. <laughs> wow. So, Adrian Lau will foul out here. Ito yung agaw kanina, and Aris Dionisio Crucial steal and score para sa kanya. But Nunez sidestepping on Abrigo and shooting it over Dionisio. You're right, Coach Putin. Grabe yun. No? 
and si Abrigo parang nakawala pa mukhang may foul pa siya doon ano but uh, at this point it really needs to be a uh, really a uh, yung kapani-paniwalang foul no para matawagan dahil hindi pwede yung referee sa mag uh, mag Ayan. mag uh, tag dito mag mag uh, <laughs> mag decide yung game uh, no crucial miss from the free throw line from Aris Dionisio missing on the first to paint you a picture how close this game has been Six deadlocks, seven lead changes, most of them coming here in the fourth quarter. At may 16 points, 10 rebounds na itong si Aris Dionisio, his 13th double-double here in the MPBL. One point game, Nunez, Senita, Nunez, 10 seconds to work with for Cebu, Nunez driving. Macaloni, dalawa sumalubong, walang foul, rebound Hayes. A chance to win if you're Manila or take the lead rather. Hayes, wow! Oh. Denied oh. by Octubre. Two excellent defensive plays. Hindi tatawagan yung atake ni Macaloni because he also initiated the contact. Right. Uh -huh. Pero dito naman kay Rafi Octubre against Marvin Hayes, a clean block. Wow. Pati defensive plays, no? Breathtaking din. Ano ba yan? Buti lang, bata pa, hindi pa wala pang high school. <laughs> Ito yung re-review ulit nila, uh, para malinaw. Malinaw yan, Manila Stars basketball off Rafi Octubre. But this is dangerous yeah. for Cebu. Baseline inbound yan. Coach Ariel and Coach Tino, ang gagaling sa mga inbound plays yan. So, this is a potential easy two na already kasi ang lapit na ng inbound yeah. sa ring. So, this is the situation now. Two timeouts for Cebu, one timeout for Manila. Pero nasa penalty na itong Cebu, so they cannot afford to foul. Manila naman, may tatlo pang fouls to give. Here's the inbound play. Dionisio with the catch against Octubre. Dionisio. Dionisio. Natapitan ni Octubre. Dionisio pa rin matangan ng bola. Pito on for three. Masyadong malakas. Pakaloni. To Octubre, oh! Nunez oh will bring it for the deuce! Three-point lead by Cebu! Wow. What a sequence! 9.2 seconds remaining. Wow. A Rafi Octubre block. And then, ang ganda nung depensa ni Rafi Octubre doon kay Dionisio. Yeah. And then, an excellent pass by Rafi Octubre to a streaking uh, si, Nunez. Si, si Nunez. Uh, wow. And fitting na si Nunez pa yung lumayap nun. What a sequence here. They forced the miss. Ju Bito on rather with the miss. Octubre. What a find to Nunez for that touchdown basket. Is it one more time? Perfect execution on the fast break for the Cebu Sharks. Alam mo, nakakatawa doon, nakakatuwa doon for Oktubre. Usually, players on a catch, may dribble pa yan eh. Yeah. Ito, automatic. Alam niya may kakampit, tinapo niya sa harap. Galing, ang galing. Those are plays na rarely appreciated but yeah. very crucial in victories. Woo. Alam mo yung home crowd natin, syempre, they're rooting for their home team. Yeah. No? But because of the the quality of this competition. Itong yung laro ang ganda talaga, no? Nadala na sila. Uh, narinig ko, nag-cheer sila for every possession. <laughs> Mapasibu, mapamanili. Wow. Ayan, my main man, ito si Macaloni, you know, with 19 points and 10 rebounds. His six double-double wow. uh, dito sa buong MPBL career niya. Great effort mula dito kay Macaloni. Again, pinaka-steady <laughs> na manlalaro para sa Cebu ngayong gabing ito. All right, one possession game, 9.2 seconds remaining. Manila Stars will have it. Eh, Cebu bench, oh, naka-arm lock na eh. Ayan na. Ako nga, Cebu, pa-foul na lang ako para free throws. Two points lang yan, hindi three points, di ba? Right. <laughs> they need to defend the three-point line. Piton puts it up. No good. Oh, Piton gets it back. Ay! Thanks. Oh, no! Two oh! to two! Oh! <laughs> Piton! Tying it up, back to buzzer. Right on cue. <laughs> right on cue. 
a three pointer on <laughs> overtime. Wow! What a game! Is it? <laughs> wow! The crowd here right now exploding with the with so much fanfare, no? Alam mo shades of a Robert Mori play. Tinapik na ng Cebu player palayu sa ring. Si Pito on pa yung kasalo. Ito yung pagtapla sa nakakuha. Pumeke, Tumira, Chris Pito on at the buzzer. Sending this game to overtime. Ano kung ganito yung laro? Sige lang, tuloy mo lang. Ang ganda ng laro. So nice, we gotta see it thrice. Apat pa, pwedeng-pwede pa. May payong tayo dito. Para sa tres ni Chris Pitoon. Na nagdala sa atin sa overtime. Magpalik po natin. Ang 22nd overtime dito sa MPBL. Pang limang overtime this season. 78 all, Manila and Cebu. Back to the ball game here. Panimula ng ating limang minutong extension dito sa San Andres Sports Complex. And, you know, there are games that deserve overtime periods, uh, Coach Putin, and this is one of them. Yes, I, I think. I, I do agree with that. Uh, pero no for Coach Manalili, no? parang makakaisa na. Yun dun na yung langit sa harap mo. Ayan. Nabalik ka sa lupa. Ayan. All right, second OT of Manila. Dito sa kanilang home floor, yung una, yun yung talo nila against the San Juan Knights. As we begin overtime period here, Nunez, no good off the bank. And here comes Manila. A uh, point of concern for Coach Manalili ng Cebu. Nunez, yeah. hindi pa nagpapahinga yan. Yeah. So, mamaya, may fatigue factor na to as Jonisio misses that floater. So, foul here against the Cebu Sharks. Or against uh, Marvin Hayes, rather. Pinawag sa Manila dito. So, Cebu will have it here. Naka-pressure itong uh, Manila Stars to begin our overtime period. Nunez. Getting the two defenders. Nunez, nagahanap ng kakampi. Nabigay kay Oktubre. Balik sa labas kay Senita. Senita slides. Oktubre jumper is good. Pira lang tumira to pero ngayon nagiging sure ball na si Oktubre. Again nung uh, bago nag uh, overtime yung mga crucial blocks, yeah. crucial passes. Now uh, a crucial basket. Any ba all baskets count right na talaga sa overtime period na to. Pito on. That one will rattle out. Cebu Sharks. We'll go for the safer cushion here. If they get it in this particular possession, Senita against Jologo. Octubre, tinitikitan na ni Abrigo. Balik kay Senita, 4-3. Cross there on that one. Well, kasi again, going into the overtime, siyempre yung Cebu parang, ay, naku, akala ko nakaisa yeah. na. And then, we have to contend with Manila again for five more minutes. Eh, parang yung 40 minutes nga, sobra-sobra na nga sa kanila yun oh. eh. And with a lineup like Cebu, na hindi ganun kalalim yung bench, you know, you give the heavy minutes to the guards who are on the floor right now. But yung overtime, huffing and puffing na yung mga yan. Very taxing yan sa legs nila. Dahil ang ganda ng dinidepensa nila, Nunez, Deloria, Senita, even yeah. a Cortez. That's right. Hindi pa tayo huling dalawang minuto, so mananatili yung tawag dito ng ating referee. Manila will have it. 
Cortez goes back to the floor replacing Senita. Ay, right on cue na naman tayo. Pinagpahinga si Senita, pinasok si Cortez. Hindi na magsasalita, right on cue tayo marami. Overtime kayo na, yun yung bati mo, coach. Bitoon. Foul against Nunez. So, free throws para dito kay Chris Bitoon. The guy who nailed that buzzer beating three pointers to send us to overtime. Ito si Butoon, may, may nickname na ako rito eh. The Blonde Bomber. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Pero alam mo, uh, when push comes to shove, may yeah. kita mo kung sino talaga yung end game lineup mo eh. And for uh, Coach Tino, ito sa Manila Stars, Abrigo, Butoon, Donisio, Marvin Hayes, very surprising ano to si Joe Logo is uh, here to end the right. actually that's overtime and in so regulation no to end the regulation siya nandito with Marvin Lee so i think may mga shooters lang siyang pinupuesto no katulad no no sinuwerte sila kay Bitoo no open Kanina. shot coach that three pointer by uh, Chris Bitoo was the first or was his first field goal dito sa ating second half what uh, what uh, a time to uh, get it ano right because he had 11 points no ating uh, break, 14 points to end the game. So, talaga yung 3 points lang na yun. <laughs> oh, oh. 2 for 2. 16 now in the ballgame for Chris. Kapala tayo dito, AP All. Cortez against Jologo. He goes to Macaloni. Octubre. Nagaanap ng kakampi. Walang mapuntahan. Oktubre behind the back. Oktubre up and under. Oktubre wala. Rebound. Ball tapped out. Mananatili sa Cebu. Nakakagulat na kaya ni Rafi Oktubre yung ganung galaw, ano? Yeah. Ito, nireserva talaga ni Rafi Oktubre to dito sa ating overtime period. Nagtahago, ano? Uh -huh. Marami pa pala ilalabas. Nunez to get it in. Tabahog. Fires off the inbound. No go. Rebound goes to Nunez. Wow, Nunez again, ano? At the guard spot, ang dami na niya nagakuang rebounds oh. and mga penetrations sa ganun, no? Kanina pa to si Nunez, again. Driving, taking it strong. And giving Cebu back the lead. Bitoon. Pick and roll action. Oh! Macaloni rejecting Aris Dionisio there. Because of the work that Adrian Lau did in October, nung sa nung start ng fourth quarter, right. gave Macaloni a fresh, no, a fresh start dito to start the overtime period. Ah, yeah, they have Suvani ni Macaloni, the Aris Dionisio, Jolo Gomez, Cortez na uang rebound. Here comes Cebu, Cebu, Cortez oh! side steps. Oh, good to basket, plus to foul. Wow. Oh, what a turn of events again dito for Cebu and for Manila. Defensive laps na lang, ano, siguro. We've seen it all. Coach Putit, yung tulak mula dito kay Joe Logo. Big three-point play for Harold Cortez, the captain of the Cebu Sharks team. Chepo, because pinalitan niya si Nunez, yeah. eh. Ay, uh, si Sinita. Si Sinita, yeah. Ayo lastimosa, papalitan si Joe Logo. Yung uh, jubilant uh, bench ng Cebu. Eh, yeah. no? Buhay na buhay eh. Para applaud the effort of the feisty guards ng Cebu. Lastimosa, wala yung layup niya. Octubre with the board. Octubre na naman ano, with that uh, potential block. Yeah. Kaya na ilang si Lastimosa. Lastimosa. Tama. Cortez. Under two minutes remaining in the overtime period. Abrigo. Dinidikitan si Kabahog. Kabahog of the step back. Up to the side. Bitoon. Oh, it's the hezi. Paul ang binigay dito kay Rafi Octubre. So free throws na naman para dito kay Chris Bitoon. Yung buhok ba ni Bitoon yung hinatak ni Octubre doon? Parang yun eh. Yung ulo niya ang pumitik patras eh. But a free throw for Chris Bitoon. But for Cebu, no? I mean, for for what Nunez, Cortez, even eh, si Macaloni is doing, you know? Right. Even si October. I think at that point, si 
Patrick Cabao should defer to these four guys. So, maging bait siya, maging... Uh, uh, dito maging... Uh, ano, wawala vocabulary ko dahil sa ganda ng laro. Maging pain siya, eh, no? Uh, fake fake uh, the defense of Manila Stars na siya ang o-opensa. Pero he's just going to really pass the ball around. Coach, big call here because that was upgraded to an unsportsmanlike foul against Rafi Octubre. Ang apat niya, dalawang free throws plus possession for Manila. Eh, exacto. Eh, now it's a four-point lead. So a potential one possession, no? That will separate. Oh! Hindi. Hindi. <laughs> Hindi ko binate. Hindi ko na sinabi. Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> Nine out of 11 from the free throw line itong si Chris Bitoan. Ay, si Bitoan, di makapaniwala na nabintis niya yun, eh. Bitoan, against Nunez. Bitoan, Abrigo from the free throw line. Lalabas, Nunez, Macaloni, scramble for the ball. It ends up with Cortez. Here comes Nunez. Ibigay kay Octubre. Oh! That's oh! his down by Dionisio, but Patrick Abajo puts it back in. Grab him, lilak ni Dionisio. Pero nandun si Macaloni, no? kasunod lang ni Octubre. Sayang, sayang yung effort ni Dionisio. What a sequence again. This is another great sequence in this ball game. 87-81, Cabajo making it a six-point game. Ito yung fast break play na yun, Dionisio. Trailing, stalking, and chasing down Octubre. Pero Cabajo on the second effort puts it up and in. <laughs> what a game. We go to this, uh, to this quick break, a minute and five seconds remaining in our contest. Back to our ball game here. Quick stat here. Patrick Abajo two points away from tying his career high here in the MPBL with 29. Did it against the Paranaque uh, Patriots. 87-81. 65 seconds remaining. Manila Stars with a badly needed basket in this possession. Pito on for three. Masyadong malakas, but Dionisio right there to clean up the mess again. Umihinga pa ang Manila. Nunez. Breaking that press. Nunez. Iniiwas kay Lastimosa. Nunez got the contact. Oh! Oh! Nunez back to win. <laughs> ang daming highlight reel dito sa larong ito. Oh. And a turnover called against the Manila Stars. 40 seconds left. Lamang ng ani ang Cebu. Mathematically speaking, pwede pa. pwede pa. But it's Cebu's ball. So pag nakashoot sila rito, yun, baka yun na katapusan dito ng Manila Stars. What a move there by Nunez. Grabe, no? Nakatulong kasi na kumalso siya sa kay Marvin Hayes, oh. no? Kaya parang nagkaroon extra hang time pa, eh. Parang marami kang sasabihin sa mga galaw ni Nunez in the fourth quarter in overtime. Saan ang galing yun? But also, napaka-admirable ng kanyang defense on the ball sa mga right. guardia dito ng uh, Manila Stars. Dionisio. Deflecting that shot of Macaloni. Here comes Manila. Bitoon. Dionisio. Lastimosa for three. Short. Rebound goes to Macaloni. Quickly to Cortez. 16 seconds remaining. Then the Cebu Sharks. Wow. We dribble this one out. From 15 points down. Wow. The Cebu Sharks. Seven seconds away from doing it. Bitoon, last attempt for a three-point shot. There you have it. That makes it official. Cebu Sharks are visiting team today. Coming back from 15 points down. Grabbing this uh, crucial 91-86 to 86 victory against one of the best teams in the league, the Manila Stars. Sayang, no? somebody has to lose. No? And Cebu Sharks, they deserve to win. Grabbing yeah. yung... Yung mindset nila going into the game, they were defiant and everything else. 
And then, key players really play, putting up key plays to sa ending. Ano? Ang napakaganda ng ginawa ng Cebu Sharks. What a game. Again, you know, Manila had every chance to win uh, this ball game, especially in the fourth quarter. Pero Cebu just prevailing here. Piton sent us to overtime. Pero nung overtime, hindi nagpatinag ang mga manlalaro nito ni uh, Coach Ting Manalili. Kinabaho nila at nakuha nila ang panalong ito. At ngayon, pumunta tayo sa ating courtside reporter, si Sheila Salaysay para sa ating best player of the game. Sheila. Persistence yung pinakita ng Cebu Sharks at Manila Stars sa dikdikang laro na napanood natin pero hindi nagpadaig sa pagod at pressure ang uh, overtime at ang nanguna sa Cebu Sharks. Walang iba si, kundi si Patrick Abahog. Patrick, congratulations on your win ngayon. Denominate ng Manila ang laro simula pa lang para kayong sumuot sa butas ng karayong pero nagawa niyo ang ibaba at itabla yung laro. Ngayon, paano nyo ba na itawid yung fourth quarter hanggang overtime? So ano lang, uh, ne uh, never give up uh, at composure lang sa last, sa last quarter namin. First quarter pa lang, back-to-back three points na nanahimik ka saglit, pero nag-init ulit from fourth to quarter hanggang overtime. Paano ka naka-recover and turn into a cold blood man tonight? Um, stay focused lang sa game kahit nakupo ako. Uh, I want to win, yun lang. Ayan, ito na ang pagkakataon mo. Magpasalamat at umatay sa lahat ng mga taga-sporta nila. Um, napasalamat ko kay boss na mo, si Sir John P. Castillo, uh, Wong, uh, Wong Family, Kyle Wong, Wong Goys, uh, managers ng casino, uh, Kabahog Family, ano uh, sa anak ko, Gracie, Courtney, and sa wife ko. Congratulations, Patrick Kabahog and Cebu Shar. Sa iyon, balik sa inyo, Martin and Coach Potty. Maraming salamat, Sheila. There you go, 27 big points for Patrick Cabahog. Two points shy of his career high here in the MPBL. But more importantly, they grab their uh, second straight win here in the Lacan season. And a big confidence booster doing it against the Manila Stars. So we started the ball game. sinabi naman natin na mukha lang hindi mananalo tong Cebu sa Manila because they're not a bunch of uh, players. Yeah. They don't have a bunch of players na household names. Mm. But Macaloni and company, Patrick Cabahog, Nunez did an excellent job defensively and offensively together with Senita and si Cortez. Napalitan sila. Ang ganda ng rotation ni Coach Manalili to uh, survive this uh, Manila onslaught. We gotta talk about also the timely baskets neto ni Nunez kanina to really seal the deal here for the Cebu Sharks. Pero sa lunes, nandiyan tayo sa well, Ateneo Blue Eagle Gym sa Quezon City. Navotas kontra sa Bacolod para sa ating first game, 4 p.m. Magsisimula na tayo. Ilo-ilo naman, bataan, mag sa ating second game. At ang ating uh, third game, Valenzuela kontra QC. Again, that is in the Blue Eagle Gym in Quezon City in Ateneo. Coach, always a pleasure having you here in the coverage. All right on cue. Right on cue. <laughs> tayo ngayon, maraming salamat. And on behalf of the entire broadcast team here, uh, my partner, Coach Putit Rivera, our coach side reporter, Sheila Salaysay, Direct Nomar, our panel director, floor director, our panel statistician, J.R. Apostol. This is Martin Aguirre saying thank you and good night. And thank you so much once again for watching our triple header tonight. We hope you guys enjoyed, especially here in our last game, Manila and Cebu. Cebu winning this one at the last minute. Matitinding action pa po sa susunod ng ligo. Ang mapapanood nito dito sa Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League Lacan Season.